Him. He just did his front talk, and I kept yeah. it on the ice. Great, great now, great doesn't like to because he's paid by a bad TV. I mean, they conflict of it. And Dave, Dave Dawson likes to stand Dave right Dave down Dawson here. Dave stands right here so that he has the ice in the background, right? Yeah. So I have to have the appropriate amount of headroom yeah. in the which shot. Which we have our mic. I'm going in between the, pier the boxes with the mic. Are you? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, yeah, the portable mic. We get some wireless mic. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, that then, make, then we don't have to worry we're about where we're at. We're going to be in Germany tonight, and uh, we're going to be in Germany. What's the name of the Ukraine place? That's why I said Al-Shabaya. Okay. Uh, we're going to be in Ukraine tonight also. So, most of these boys live out of the country, and on the dad's team, so that's why nice. we're going to be in This should be a real... Of course, you get this microphone aimed, and it's on. Yep. So I'm hearing your, our conversation <laughs> over here on Ustream. That's okay. <laughs>
honey. Hi. Uh, I got a new. Uh, I see that. I want to work with him all this time. You know, I, I, no, I, I, I want to work with him. Now Trace, can you go get family? Yeah. I've got this here for now. You need to. Uh, I got to start the day. There you go. I need a band. I'm good with that. I got a band. I got a band. My mic's off. Two, one, zero. Let's go. Good evening, folks. Uh, Blake Foster, Calvin Heller, uh, commentators tonight, and uh, we welcome to the Banff game. Uh, Calvin, uh, you're two bits worth. Well, thanks, Blake. First of all, we want to say good evening and welcome to the Kinplex, and welcome to everybody that's uh, online uh, viewing the game here this evening. We have Banff Academy in town to take on the uh, Messinat Cubs. We all know that the Cubs went to Banff for the first game of the year and uh, lost a nail-biter 2-1 to Banff. I believe we outshot the Banff team quite badly, but uh, came up on the uh, short end of the stick. Is that correct, Blake? Ah, uh, you're right, Calvin. Uh, they had a hot goaltender that night, and I see that the same goaltender is uh, for them again tonight, and I think uh, I talked to Bill very shortly uh, about the goaltender, and he's hot. He's really hot. So that's one thing to look for uh, against uh, us here tonight. Well, I think one thing, uh, the Cubs are riding a bit of a, a hot streak here, Blake, so I'm looking for them to come out tonight, uh, get a lot of shots on goal, and I think they're going to uh, find the back of the net uh, tonight, uh, hopefully more than Banff does, and we can get two points and uh, move up in the standings. Well, if not tonight, Kelvin, maybe tomorrow night. That's right, Blake. We have uh, tonight and tomorrow. We have a uh, two-game set here against Banff. That'll be the last time we see them at the Kinplex, so hopefully we get a good crowd out tonight as well as tomorrow. Blake, I see the officials are on the ice. Would you like to let everyone know who's doing our game tonight? Yes, yeah, so I would like uh, to introduce these guys. Uh, can you get the camera on the ice, please, there, young lady? Um, Ryan Campbell is going to be our head referee tonight. Uh, he's pretty good, Calvin. Uh, Chris uh, Adrian, uh, he's a linesman with uh, Morrow's Girl. So uh, I think you're going to see a good officiating tonight. And... Uh, well, just before we start, uh, we will have a young lady here singing O Canada. I think it's her second time. Uh, I'd like to introduce uh, also Samantha Scott. Uh, she's going to do our anthem. And I see they're lining up, so we'll just break for the O Canada.
And away we go, uh, Kelvin. Go ahead. Uh, uh, let's see the referees are shaking hands with uh, each uh, bench uh, coaches. Boys are lining up. It is just about game time. You're right here, Blake, and I see that uh, Schaefer is getting the start again tonight. That'll be his third straight start. I'm kind of assuming that Jason uh, Bartram, head coach of the Cubs, is probably going to play uh, maybe Schaefer tonight, obviously, and then maybe come back with Pruden tomorrow night and uh, give both goaltenders a chance. Well, with just that note there, Calvin, uh, Pruden uh, played uh, in Banff, and uh, he didn't have a, a, a bad game. He had a pretty good game, uh, but they're going with Schaefer for a win tonight. All right, Blake, play is underway. Cubs uh, dump the puck into the uh, Banff zone here. Banff along the boards now, trying to play the puck out of their own zone. Back to the line. Uh, Frakowski plays it in. Here comes Banff in across the line. That's knocked down. Here's Raymond Palvin after now. He throws the puck down the boards. Here comes uh, Cole Stevenson over the line. Pressure break. Stevenson shot right on goal. Rebound and a couple big saves right away. Cubs off to a great start here tonight. Great saves. Great saves. Uh, that's, that's the way that goalie is. Uh, you, it's going to be tough to get by him. That's that uh, Aaron McKay. He was with them last year, Blake, and I remember the game uh, they played here last year. He played very well. The Cubs did win that game, but he certainly played very well. But certainly a good start to the game here for the Cubs. Yep. Face-off uh, deep in bounce zone here. Prakowski wins the draw. Back to Gallopo. Gallopo shot on goal. Puck goes into the corner. Bartram now plays it down low for Prakowski. Cycling the puck down low. Larishell in behind the net. Circles into the corner. Larishell fans on it. Still got control of the puck. Down low for Bartram. Bartram over to Ferkowski now. Ferkowski plays the puck in front. That's knocked down by Bath. Back into the corner again. Bartram working along the boards. Larishell in support in the play here. Ferkowski helping out. Larishell in behind the net. Circles around the other side. Throws the puck in front. Back to Larishell again. Throws the puck in front. Through the net. Gallopo plays it from the point. Can't get it out, and here comes the Banff Academy, breaking out now, across the Cubs' blue line, Banff in over the line, right in on goal, and Schaefer makes a nice little save, Larishell now in his own zone, Barton battling for the puck, Barton picks it up, he takes a bump along the boards, Flerkowski, good support, chips the puck out into the neutral zone, Cubs are going to make a change on the play. Well, Blake, we're off to a pretty fast pace here to uh, start a Thursday night game, or correction, a Wednesday night game here at the Kimplex. You bet. Uh, it looks like they're both out for a win here. Um, the, the first goal is going to tell you uh, who's going to slow down the pace. Okay, face off, deep in the Cubs zone. Fury out to take the draw. Fury, he wins the draw. Clears the puck along the far side to uh, Goldade. Goldade, he dumps the puck into the zone. Keller in on the forecheck, little bump along the boards, back to the point. There's a shot, Bernhard, right on goal, another good save by McKay. That's three good saves. Uh, we're out shooting them though, Calvin, four to one at this time. Definitely, Blake, I agree. The Cubs uh, coming out with some uh, good pace here, some good start to the game. Face off, deep in the bound zone. Thanks, Fury in to take the draw. Loose off, wins the draw for uh, Banff. Puck goes along the far boards. Banff clear of the zone. Pulvermacher dumps it back in. McKay plays the puck in behind the net. Lusoff overskates it. Goldade bumped along the boards. Heller picks up the puck. Throws it down low for Goldade. Goldade walking in behind the net. Fury in front. Tries to jam it in. No play. Net comes off and the whistle goes. Well, this time I would like to thank uh, all those for less uh, with their uh, support. Uh, we have uh, a trip for Las Vegas at the end of the season. If you uh, people want to get involved in that, uh, just buy a program and fill out uh, the farm, and you'll have a chance for Las Vegas. Thanks again, uh, Autos for Less. All right, face off in the bound zone. Stall wins the draw, throws it down into the corner now. Banff in behind their own zone, own zone here. Uh, Eagle Tail plays a puck around the boards. Banff clears his own into the neutral zone. Pulvermacher clears it back to the red line. Dump back in. Schaefer plays the puck in behind the net. Bernhardt picks it up behind the net. Now the Cubs breaking out of their own zone. Up on the boards. Here comes Brandon Stahl. Stahl loses the puck. Picked up by Bernhardt. Crossing the blue line. Easy shot on goal. McKay has a little trouble with the puck. Banff clears his own again. Cubs doing a nice job con controlling the play here. Kyle Flakowski back on the point here tonight. Here's Stahl again. In over the blue line. Brandon Stahl drops it back for Stevenson. Stevenson down for Stahl. And the puck back in behind the Banff zone. Stevenson playing the puck down for McGuire. McGuire been playing a little bit injured here tonight, but good to see him back in the lineup. 
Uh, Baff chips the puck out. Cubs regroup in their own zone. Here comes Ferkowski at the red line. Kyle Ferkowski dumps the puck in. He's heading off on a change. Here's Cody Ferkowski in on the forecheck. Keegan Bartram around the net. Here's uh, Ferkowski into the high slot. Over to get... Oh! A chance here. A good two-way passing play. Started Beautiful. low in the corner. Lorichelle made a nice pass right into the high slot, and they just grazed the crossbar, Blake. Great yeah. scoring opportunity. Yes, beautiful. Yes, it was a two-way pass. Uh, I don't know how they missed it. It was, a, it was going in the net. Uh, thank gosh for the post. Okay, Cubs off to a real nice uh, start here, Blake. For Kowski to take the draw here uh, deep in the bound zone. Flakowski wins the draw, back to the point, Gallopo throws it down low, here's Cody Flakowski along the boards now, they're trying to set the cycle up, Flakowski gets the puck back, throws it to the far side, nobody there, Bartram in now, on the forecheck, plays it back to the point, Cubs can't keep it in. Banff starting out, crossing the blue line now, it's Robertson for Banff, he loses the puck. Robinson again now, at his own zone, still hanging on to the puck, into the Cubs zone, throws it far side. Oh, Janish with the post. A great try there, I'll tell you. The Banff Academy haven't had a lot of shots, but Schaefer, came close on that one. Schaefer's favorite uh, buddy, uh, post. Uh, that was a sure goal. Well, no one Schaefer, that's about all he'd give him to shoot at. He's a pretty solid goaltender there, so they probably didn't have much. But Mark Janish, at the same time, had a good chance there to uh, put Banff on the board early. Okay, Fury out there for the Cubs. He wins the draw. Cubs uh, battling down low in their own zone now. We have uh, Tanner Barton on the puck. He clears a pop puck along the boards. Cubs can't get it out. Tanner Barton doing some good work down low. Shot right on goal. Kind of deflected. And Schaefer again in good position to make that save. Cubs uh, clear the puck out and down the ice. Blake, what do you think? A nice little uh, save there by Cole Schaefer on a shot from the point. That was a very, very sharp save, uh, Calvin, except a little bit of a... Uh, uh, he, he had a little trouble uh, closing his legs on it, but you know what? Still a save. He got her done. You bet. Fury and uh, Lusoff to take the draw. Uh, the Cubs win the draw. Here's Raymond Pulvermacher now. He throws it up on the boards. I believe that is uh, Goldie. Yes, it is. Goldie throws it down low. McKay plays the puck around the boards in his own zone. Heller in on the forecheck. Here's Fury now. He steals it. Fury, oh, he just bounced on the pass. Heller, Fury, oh, in tight. And they can't jam it home. Another good save by McKay. Look, well, I think this McKay guy has come to play here tonight. Yeah. And they scored. They're saying the goal was in. Blake, they I didn't it. even see it. They say the goal was in. I thought I they blew it, it down. We need a replay. We don't have to go to the replay. We now have to go to the replay. They're saying the Cubs have scored. It is a goal. We thought the play was blown dead, but apparently the puck is in. We'll give you the official goal right shortly as soon as we find out. Cubs go up one nothing, Blake. Oh, but you know what, Kelvin? I did hear a whistle, and I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That's good, though. Okay, Pulvermacher now in his own zone. Throws it up for Stevenson. Stevenson, he chips the puck ahead. Brandon Stahl in behind the net. Now Stahl, up front for McGuire. is just a little too far out of his reach. And now Bat... <coughs> Starting out of their own zone, Milliken throws it in deep. Here comes uh, Banff on the forecheck. Kept in at the point, they throw it down low. Here comes uh, Cole Stevenson now breaking out of his own zone. There's a high pass. Knocked down by McGuire now, chasing into the Banff zone. Nice little bump along the boards. McGuire, nice little spin pass out high to uh, Brandon Stahl, and the defenseman just gets his stick on that, and the puck goes up and over the boards. You know, Calvin, I didn't uh, get the, who scored that one. It was so noisy in here, and everybody's hollering. Uh, I didn't catch it, but well, we'll get back to you people before the end of uh, next period. Apparently, they're giving the goal to Goldade. Is that, I believe it's uh, Tyler, Go or, uh, Tyler Goldade, uh, Kyler Goldade, correction, that they're giving the goal to, Blake, number 24. Yeah, and I uh, I heard that number five was assist, Blake. Uh, Fury and Pavlamak are in on the assist there, so one nothing Medicine at Cubs. Okay. Ah, uh, Banff, clears the puck into the Cubs zone. Schaefer knocks it down in behind the net. Bernhardt now doing some hard work along the boards, trying to get the puck out. Keegan Bartram at the point, can't get the puck out. Long shot right on goal. Schaefer makes an easy save and covers it for a whistle. Uh, by the way, uh, Calvin, shot 6-3 to three for in favor of the Cubs. Uh, they're really, uh, this is a fast pace. I've never seen uh, jump this fast uh, so soon. Uh, Cubs are off to a good start, and that's good, especially on a Wednesday night. You know, some of the guys are in school, some are working. You don't know who's going to show up, but 
Looks like the team has come to play. The coaching staff's got them ready to go. Here's the uh, Bounce Bears now in the Cubs zone, trying to make something happen, but they lose the puck and it goes out into the neutral zone. Now Bounce clears it back in. Schaefer along the boards for Furkowski. Out to Bartram. Bartram can't get it out. Here's Kyle Furkowski now, breaking down the far side. Furkowski coming in. And he can't get the shot off. Rubbed out along the end boards. Larishell now down low for the Cubs. Looking to set up the cycle. Larishell, some good work along the boards. Throws it back to Paul Vermacher. Paul Vermacher has his shot blocked. And here comes the Banff Academy trying to break out. Here's Robertson at the line again. Dumps the puck in. Paul Vermacher in behind his own zone. Dumps it up for Larishell. Larishell can't knock that down. Now Babs starting out of their own zone. Puck's dumped deep into the zone. Schaefer plays it for Paul Vermacher. Paul Vermacher. Here come the Cubs. Two on one. Farkowski and Fury coming in. Two on one. Tees it up. Scores. Oh, snap shot. What a play. Farkowski and uh, Fury coming in. Two on one. Defenseman spins over to take away the pass. And Farkowski put his head down and buried it. Cubs go up 2 nothing. Beautiful play, Blake. Beautiful play, Calvin. It was a slap shot, a snap shot. And uh, the goalie had no, uh, no, no sightseeing on that one at all. So I know last time I checked the stats, uh, Cody Fakowski was leading the league in points, and this is certainly going to add to his total here, Blake. A real nice goal there, a real nice shot. Yeah, Comes up to nothing. You bet. Go ahead. Okay, here we go. Puck is deep into the Cubs zone here. Banff trying to get something happening here. Puck comes back to the point. There's a shot deflected up high and out of play. So we are at the midway ball. Oh, we are seven minutes into the game here, Blake, and the Cubs are off to a real nice start. Up 2-0 here, uh, out shooting them 7-3. And they are, Calvin. Uh, they're really hustling. They're uh, passing good. They're, they're checking good. You bet. Here's Fury starting out of his own zone. Fury now ahead for uh, Goldade again. Goldade up to Heller. Heller in the corner. He's doing some work down low. He spins and shoots. There's Goldade with some good support along the boards. Back to the point. There's on that. There's Heller in front. Battling loose puck. He can't find the puck. I'll tell you, the Cubs are putting some good pressure on early in the game. Oh, Gallipo goes to play the puck, and I think got the guy maybe from behind or interference. So I believe they're calling boarding on the play. So it's going to be Gallipo going off for two minutes for boarding. Uh, kind of a harmless play there. But uh, nonetheless, the guy did go into the boards, and Gallipo will serve two minutes in the box. Well, Calvin, it, it was a hard check. Uh, yes, you're right. You could go either way. But, uh, yeah, it's boarding. I, I agree. Okay, so Banff is going to be going on the power play, Blake, here. So we're going to test the, uh, the penalty-killing skills of the Medicine Hat Cubs. Face off in the Cubs zone. Banff along the half wall now. Throws it back to the point here. Uh, Eagle Tail takes a shot. That just is blocked and knocked down in the corner. Banff working hard along the boards. We have Bernhard in there working one on two. Cubs trying to box things up here. Back to the point. Eagle Tail. He throws the puck over to his defensive partner. Back to Eagle Tail. There's a one-time shot knocked down by, uh, I believe that was Brandon Stahl that got his stick on that. Plays at the point here now. Here's Banff again. They throw the puck into the high slot. Pavelmacher picks it up. And they circles back and kills some time. Throws the puck into the uh, neutral ice zone. Here comes Banff now. Starting out of their own zone. It's Sakakis in over the line. Here's Banff again. And Schaefer with a nice little save right there on Dylan Robinson. Nice play by Schaefer. Gets a whistle. Gets a line change out here for the Medicine Hat Cubs. I know we on Calvin on that one. That is the key, Blake, and that's, I think that's the key with Schaefer all year. He's just been solid. There's very few rebounds, and if there's a rebound, he's been in good position to make the save. Okay, one minute, uh, 13 seconds left in the penalty here. Uh, Banff takes a shot. That's knocked down in front by uh, Bar Barton, and he clears his own. So uh, one minute into the penalty, Cubs doing a nice job killing it off at this point. Banff deep in their own zone now. They regroup, and they start to break out. Pass is thrown up for Lusoff. Lusoff can't do much with that one. Throws it cross ice. Banff now into the Cubs zone. Pilato along the boards. He loses the puck. Picked up by Lusoff. Lusoff back to the point. Oh, they tried to find Lusoff. Knocked down the puck for Kowski. For the puck. For Kowski's got a step on him. In over the line. And he oh, Nice save by McKay. But there could be a delayed penalty coming up. Yes, there is. And maybe even a penalty shot, Blake? No, they're going to no, call it for slashing. They're going for slashing, yeah, Calvin. That was a real clear, uh, clear breakaway. 
Uh, but the goalie had him. I mean, he, his head was with the, the player the whole way. It was a good save, uh, but we got the power play in 34 seconds. Good individual effort by uh, Cody Farkowski there, Blake, but you're exactly right. McKay was not buying what he was selling, was he? Nope, not at all. Absolutely, Kelvin. Okay, 4-on-4 four four for 34 seconds. Back to Pavlamacher, and a quick shot goes up and over the net, and the net gets knocked off the moorings by McGuire, and we're going to have another face-off in the bounce zone. Seven to five shots, uh, and he, uh, we were short-handed for a good uh, minute and a half. Uh, you know, uh, the boys are just out there to, I don't know, uh, how long is it going to go? Well, I think uh, we're four on four here, Blake, and that's going to give us approximately, uh, you know, a minute and 20 on the power play, a minute and 30 on the power play, and our power play has been good, so, uh, uh, has, you know, uh, it could be a 3 nothing lead. Anyhow, first things first, here's Blount breaking out of their own zone. They get to the blue line. Uh, Blount here now, um, Rosenthal, he couldn't handle the puck. Now it's Bernhardt starting out of his own zone. Crosses the center line, dumps the puck into the zone. The puck is in behind the net. McKay plays it around. Oh, lost sight of the puck there, Blake. Puck is dumped into the Cub zone. We're going to have an icing just as the penalty expires, so that is perfect timing for the Cubs. It's going to be a 1 minute and 27 second power play, face off deep in the bounce zone. And now we're going to see our power play to go, go to work. Uh, if, the, if they go work hard as they did uh, with uh, even the man, uh, we could be up another goal. Uh, okay, looks like we have Bartram, Farkowski, uh, Larishel, Gallipo, and Pavlamacher out there on the power play. Pavlamacher hammers one hard over the net. Larishel along the half wall now, trying to throw it down to Farkowski. Back to Larishel. Over to Gallipo. Gallipo trying to squeeze to the middle. Throws it over to Pavlamacher. Pavlamacher now on the half wall. Throws it in behind the net. That's knocked down by Bamp and cleared out. Schaefer trying to stretch pass up to Pavlamacher now. Pavlamacher regroups in his own zone. Lead pass for Bartram. He chips the puck in. Back. Banff clears his own. Back out to Pavlamacher. Now Gallipo in over the blue line. Gallipo trying to get the puck deep. Can't do so. Here's Larishel on the end boards here. They're trying to set that cycle up again, Blake. Larishel looking for Gallipo in front of the net. Throws it behind the net for Bartram. Bartram loses the handle. Larishel in to help out. Bartram loses his footing, goes down on that play. Larishel battling hard along the boards. Puck comes to Bartram. Bartram circles in behind the net, throws it back to Gallipo. Gallipo now working on the half wall. He loses the puck. Florkowski with some good support. Throws it down low. Oh, right in front. And Bartram just happened to be spinning the other way and you couldn't put the puck home, Blake. He was with the play the whole way, though, Calvin. Uh, he knew where the puck was. Tell you one thing about that, Blake, even though they didn't score, there's still 12 seconds left on the power play, but they, they did have good pressure on, and uh, that certainly does take the steam out of bounds. That's right, think? Kevin. They, they shot three times in the shot already, so... Okay, 10 seconds left in the power play. Banff starting out of their own zone now. Here we go. We have uh, Lusoff again. A hard shot. And there it is. Cole Schaefer makes it look pretty routine. Yes, he does, Kevin. Uh, he had it every way. Every, all, the, all the way there. Four seconds left in the power play, Blake, so it looks like we are going to be 0 for 1 to start off the game on the power play, but uh, just the same, it was a good power play. It was. Good, good pressure. It was. It was. Okay, here we go. Puck is cleared back into the Cubs zone. Kyle Flakowski back in behind the net. Cubs setting up the breakout now. Flakowski starting out on the left side. He zigs, moves the puck ahead for Heller just a little bit behind him. Uh, couldn't quite get his skate on it, and the puck goes in for an icing. That was a set-up play, though, Calvin. If he would have uh, just touched it, uh, he, he, he would have had to step on that guy. Yep, he could have found him through the neutral zone there, Blake. I agree. A little chip, and they're in, and they get the four-check going. Okay, face-off deep in the Cubs zone. We have Fury lining up against Lusoff here. Uh, Lusoff and Fury. Fury loses the draw. A nice little set play by Banff off the face-off, and a good save by Schaefer again. Hey, here's a nice touch pass to Fury. Cubs coming in. Three on three. They tried the draw pass. Not working. Here's Lusoff starting out of his own zone now. Banff trying to get into the Cubs zone, can't do so. Puck is cleared in. It's uh, Bernhard along the end boards. He takes a little bump, clears the puck in behind the net. Oh, down goes uh, Gallopo. That doesn't happen very often. He's back on his feet. Clears the puck, but not out. Puck hits the side of the net. Here's Fury behind the net. Throws it up on the wall. Winger's not there. Uh, Cubs are going for a wholesale change right here. Puck deep into the um, bounce zone. Logan Milligan clears the puck ahead. 
touched at the line. It's going to be icing. That was a nice hit there, Calvin. Uh, that was a borderline. That was a borderline. One thing when they take Austin Gallipo on, he doesn't get knocked down very often, so I would suspect they probably he did not see that guy coming, but uh, chances are he may have taken his number, and uh, sometime between now and tomorrow night, he might try to... Uh, uh, that's going to happen. Exact that's a little revenge happen. on him. Okay, face off uh, in the Banff zone. Banff clears the zone uh, into the neutral zone now. Here come the Cubs again on the forecheck. Stevenson in. He can't make nothing happen. Oh, Cubs knock it down in front. It's Stevenson. Oh, hits the side of the net. Puck comes back to the point. Farkowski holds it in. Throws it at goal. Nice save by McKay. Stevenson knocked down. McGuire working hard along with Stahl on the end boards. Banff, they pick up the puck. Throw it in front of their own net. A dangerous play there. Puck comes to Fuhrer. Puck up on the wall. McGuire takes a little bump, spins, maintains possession of the puck. McGuire along the wall. Back up to Paul Vermacher. Knocked down. Here comes Banff. Knocked down by Milliken. And Banff decides to make a change. The Cubs regroup in their own zone. Here's Brandon Stahl now. He's crossing into the Banff zone. He uh, drops the puck back for the defenseman. Down low for Stahl. Stahl to the front of the net. And a big save. And a score! Oh, nice bit of work there by the Medicine Hat Cubs. I believe it was... McGuire that McGuire. got that one, but some good work by Stahl along the boards to get that puck low. They threw it to the net. What a nice goal that was. That's just a hard-working goal right there, don't you think, Blake? Oh, I, 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 no doubt about it, Calvin. It was a hard-working goal. It was a team play, and uh, uh, the goaltender just didn't have a chance. Didn't what, have a chance. what do they say, Blake, if you go to the net? Good yeah. things will happen. Well, good things are ha and uh, did happen. Yeah, that's too. exactly You're right. right. Three nothing. Medicine Hat Cubs off to an excellent start here. Thanks. Here comes Banff Academy. They clear the puck into the zone. Cubs Tanner Barton in behind the net. Throws it around for his defensive partner Gallipo. Here's Banff. They've got it knocked down in our zone now. Back to the point. Knocked down. Here's Keegan Pardrum. Lead pass for Cody Forkowski, and he can't uh, do much with that one. Banff uh, picks it up at the neutral zone now. Here comes the Academy. One on one. Oh, nice little play by Kyle for, or uh, pardon me, Tanner Bartram. Tanner Barton, correction on that. We got a lot of B's on this team, Blake. Hard to keep it all straight. Here's Gabe Lerichel now. He's trying to rink wide pass for Bartram. He puts on the brakes at the half wall. Throws across ice. Oh, Gar uh, Gabe Lerichel just a little off balance. Couldn't quite pick that one up. Here's Lerichel working hard down low. And Bath picks up the puck and fires around the net. Here's a lead pass, and that is just knocked down. They tried to give uh, Mark Janish a lead pass there, but just a little bit too far out of his reach. And uh, coming all the way back on an icing call. Yeah, icing call, Calvin. Uh, yeah, that's a good jump for Nelson. Uh, Three zip, 12 shots. Hey, it's, uh, it's a different team today. Different team. Yeah, I like what I'm seeing here, Blake. We are uh, 624 left to go in the opening period here, and they're off to a very good start, as you said. Here's Ben Fury along the boards. Leaves it for Heller. They're trying to get that cycle set up. Fury takes a little bump and continues on. Here comes Banff now. They're trying to break out of their own zone. Here's the Academy coming in. Oh, Pilato with a nice shot on goal, and Schaefer makes a good save there. Banff on the delayed offside, clears his own. Raymond Pulvermacher now in his own end. Pulvermacher setting up the breakout. Lead pass, a little behind Heller. Banff dumps it back in. Schaefer stops the puck in behind the net. Here's Pulvermacher now setting up. High on the boards. Here comes the Cubs again. Heller and uh, looks like Goldade here breaking the net. Heller breaking one. Oh, like he drew the penalty, Blake. I think we are going on the power play again. Schaefer's cleared the net. We've got the extra attacker on, and the Cubs are setting the cycle up. Oh, a nice yeah. little rush by Heller oh, down the wing. Oh, and Heller passed it right in the front through the crease, and who's got the penalty, uh, Calvin? Well, I'll tell you, Blake, again, you keep your feet moving, and uh, I'll tell you, good things happen for you, and that's just a prime example right there. A nice little a play rush, by Calvin. Goldade. You bet. Goldade oh. makes a good rush through the neutral zone. and uh, But, hey, don't take anything away from Heller. Uh, he, he, he did his job oh, too. That's right. It, he's, he's part of the team, and it takes uh, yeah, it takes them all to be going. Yeah, that's yeah. right, Blake. I think you'll agree with me. You need all five guys going on a line. Okay, Cubs on the power play. Cole Stevenson wins the draw. Back to Paul Vermacher. Paul Vermacher now throws one on goal here. Uh, knocked down by Banff and cleared out. Schaefer stops it in behind his own goal now. Gallipo back to regroup. Picks the puck up behind his net. We have Gallipo out there with Paul Vermacher. Ahead for Brandon Stahl, down the right side. Stahl now, cutting into the zone. He's on the half wall, throws it back for Gallipo. Gallipo working it down low, cutting to the net, Blake, and he hit the goal post. Gallipo on a bit of a tear the last couple games here. Scored a hat trick on 
Sunday and uh, just about had one there. Uh, back to Paul Vemacher on the point. Paul Vemacher down low for Brandon Stahl, I believe. Stahl tries to jam it home. Can't get it into the net. And uh, Banff cleared the zone there again. And uh, we are about a minute and 13 left in this power play. Here come the Cubs again. Ben Fury out there now. Uh, Paul Vemacher throws a puck down for Fury. Fury, oh, he loses his footing in behind the net. Goldade tries to keep the puck in. Back for Gallopo, he takes a bump along the boards, puck comes out. Here's uh, Raymond Palvermacher now, deep in his own zone. 54 seconds, Palvermacher for Heller. Heller through the neutral zone to Goldie. Goldie coming in, got some steam. Throws it across for Fury. Oh, glorious scoring opportunity, just fires it wide of the net. Good pressure again, Blake. The Cubs got the pressure going on the power play here tonight. They sure have, Calvin. Uh, they're not looking back. They're not looking back at all. Here comes Tanner Barton now. He crosses into the bounce zone. He throws the puck to the net. Heller now working along the boards, trying to get the forecheck going here. Here comes the Banff Academy, breaking out. We got a one-on-one -on -one towards the end of the penalty. A long shot. Schaefer knocks that down. That's routine for that guy. Routine for that guy. Here's Milliken along the boards. Milliken trying to break to the net. Oh, and he can't get through. Schaefer knocks it down. Nine seconds left in this penalty. Here come the Cubs looking for one last stretch pass here to maybe make something happen. And it's uh, Larishel down the right side. Larishel puts the brakes on. Looking to throw it across. Ice to for Koski. What a play. What a play. Larishel. What a patience at the point. Beautiful. I don't think he got the goal. Oh, got the pass. boy, oh, boy. The nail. Perfect, no. perfect patience at the point. No Saw Furkowski. No Saw Furkowski going to the net. Just a beautiful play. That is one that will make the coaching that's, staff happy. That's a picture play, Calvin. You could uh, you could rewind that and play it four times. You know what? You still shake your head. <laughs> I agree with you, Blake. That's well said. I agree with you. That was a beauty. Cubs up 4 nothing. I'll tell you. Blake, we got to do this again tomorrow night, so we uh, we can't use up all your lines here in one night. Uh, that's right. We can't uh, use up my lines or yours. Our mine, that's for sure. Okay. Hey, here comes Banff again. They're in the uh, Cubs zone here now, working along the end boards. Buck comes back to the point, just offside. But back to that power play again there, Blake. I'll tell you, Larishel, we got a nice stretch pass from, uh, I believe it was Barton that threw a nice stretch pass up to Larishel. Larishel with just some great patience uh, at the bounce zone and Furkowski hard to the net. Oh. And just a beautiful goal. You couldn't miss that, Calvin. You just couldn't miss it. It's picture goal. Picture goal. Here's Bernhardt in his own zone now. He's been filling in uh, both ends of the ice. He's been playing defense sometimes and forward and doing a good job at both. Heads a puck up to Bartram. Bartram now trying to get into the zone. Throws a puck at the net and that's deflected off the goal post. The Cubs are coming out hot tonight, Blake. Shot right on goal again, and the whistle is blown. Play is dead. I think the ref lost sight of the puck. You know, Calvin, I, 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 we got the right game here. I mean, the, the Cubs are just storming tonight. Uh, we, they were shorthanded a couple players. Uh, we, we got a couple off with uh, shorter injuries, and they're just storming. I agree, Blake. They're, they're, all four lines are rolling tonight, and, and that's going to be key. We've got a bit of a younger team. we got to have everybody going every night, every shift, and uh, so far in this first period, they're doing exactly that. And again, Cubs uh, in the bounce zone. Oh, bounce intercept the puck now. Okay, here come the Cubbies again now. Cubs clearing the puck into the bounce zone. McGuire in there on the forecheck. Out to Stevenson, a big save there. McKay, a nice little pad save there. His confidence might be a little shaken here, Blake. The Cubs have thrown a lot at him midway or, or, or late into this first period, rather. You know, Kelvin, you might see a goal change, too. Here come the Cubs again, and Stevenson over the line, he's got a bit of a lane, there's a shot, that goes wide of the net. I'll tell you, Cubs keeping the puck down low again, Stevenson, Stahl with a nice bump down there, back to the point, Gallopo, got a good shot, knocked down in front, here comes the Banff Academy, Pilato, ahead. Here comes Gallopo now, breaking out of his own zone. Gallopo, zigging and zagging at the line, Fury chips the puck in. Knocked down by the Banff Academy. Here comes Banff now, breaking out of their own zone. Okay, the Academy working in low on uh, the Cubs here in behind the net. They shot on goal that hits the side of the net. I bet you're still there with you go, I did, yeah. I kind of did. Here's Milligan in behind the net now. He's trying to gain, uh, gain the zone and cat. Stole by uh, Kyle Furkowski. Furkowski takes a little bump, plays a puck to Heller. Heller to Fury, and a nice little chip play just to exit the zone. 
Here comes Bamp. Now we have uh, Jonas Gordon. He clears the puck into the zone. I believe that's Bernhardt back along the boards there. Heller putting the puck up on the boards. Here coming in. Two on two over to uh, Goldie. The last minute of play in the first period here. Fury in behind the net. Heller to join him and they can't get the puck. Here comes the captain for the uh, academy team on over the line. It's uh, Robinson. Robinson dishes the puck off. Schaefer makes another nice save there. Cubs gain the possession in their own zone and loft the puck out into center ice area. Here come the Bears. I do apologize. I'm missing a few numbers on my sheet here, Blake, so I can't give you everybody's name, but I'll try to do the best I can here. Did a good job, Calvin. Keep on going. Uh, puck down low for the academy. Out front of the net. Oh, what a glorious scoring opportunity there for Dylan Robinson. Just fired the puck over top of the net. Here's the Cubs now with about uh, 20 seconds left in this period. It looks like they're on their heels a little bit. Bamp with one last surge. Here we go. We have uh, Robertson now with the puck on the half wall. Robinson throwing the puck towards the net. And a nice play by Schaefer to knock that one away. Here's uh, Kyle Frakowski on the end board, chips the puck, and there goes the horn to end the period, Blake. 4 nothing Cubs after one. I don't think you could ask for a better start. What a period, Kelvin. Lots of action, lots of uh, shots. 16 for Madison Hat, 10 for Banth. Uh, fabulous game. Uh, uh, the, the goalie for Brent, uh, he's a little shaken up right now. Um, uh, this is not his usual thing, getting all these kind of shots in one period, Calvin. Uh, Bill, if, if I know Bill, he's going to regroup the boys. Uh, by the way, talking about Bill, um, Bill Doherty is uh, the head general manager and coach uh, for Banth, and uh, he's uh, doing the job by himself tonight. Uh, his partner, Gary Unger, had to move his family uh, this weekend or this week and uh, by the way we're going to have uh, Bill coming up here uh, to chat with us and uh, uh, talk about the academy. Uh, I think there's a, quite a few guys changed this year. Uh, uh, he will talk about uh, the der German boy he's got and a uh, Ukrainian boy he's got. He's got a good team here Calvin. Yeah no doubt Blake and I just chatted with him just briefly to uh, try and get a few of the boys his name straight and uh, he was telling me they have a player here from uh, from Russia, we have uh, Oleg Losev from Russia. Uh, Dylan Robinson, he's from uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, we have guys from the Czech Republic, uh, Latvia. There's one boy from Israel, uh, Uviel uh, Rosenthal from Israel. So they have a very diverse group of players here, Blake. And uh, uh, just hopefully they're enjoying their experience at the academy and uh, you know learning some things about hockey and, and more importantly learning things about life. Exactly, uh, Galvin, uh, like, it, uh, li like it says in one nutshell, it's a hockey academy, it's a school, and these boys want to come up here and learn our game, uh, hopefully they take it back to their countries and uh, do something with it, but yeah, uh, they have uh, somebody from just about every part of the, 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 the country, and like I said, Bill will be up here shortly to chat with you people, and uh, uh, hopefully uh, we, he can see something that's of interest. Well, and I hope you got your questions ready for him, Blake, because uh, we want to give him some good medicine at questions and get some good information uh, just regarding some of his players, uh, his program, and uh, it's kind of unfortunate that we didn't have Gary Younger here tonight. We could have maybe did an interview with him tomorrow night, but uh, former NHL uh, superstar Gary Younger uh, is a big part of this Banff uh, Academy as well, right, Blake? Uh, that's right. Uh, he's he's a key bone by, uh, behind the whole thing. Uh, He's, uh, he's given his ex expertise uh, to the, uh, the academy. Uh, I had a good talk with him when we were in Banff, Calvin, and uh, he indicated to me that uh, uh, big things are going to happen in Banff. Uh, they're looking for an out, uh, outdoor um, a game next year, hopefully with us, he said. Uh, we're going to have it at Banff Springs, right uh, on the open water. Uh, of course, it's not going to be open. Uh, hopefully, it's frozen. But no, they're going to try and arrange a, a game and open ice uh, outside, and uh, hopefully that happens. Uh, but Gary uh, Gary Unger has got a good thing going here, and I my hats are is off to him. Uh, regardless, uh, Banth is in first place as we speak, and uh, I think he's um, it's a good thing happening here. Um, what do you think about that, Cal? Well, I, I agree, Blake, because certainly when Banff first came into the league, and uh, I'm not exactly sure how many years they have been in, but uh, they had some, they had a rough start. Uh, they didn't win a lot of games, but uh, they were undeterred. Uh, Gary stayed with the program, and uh, you know this year I think everything is coming to fruition for him. Uh, they are uh, they're winning some games, like you said. Uh, if they're not in first place, they're close to first place, and. Uh, other than tonight's game, and this game is certainly not over, uh, they've been very competitive in all the games they've played to this point. 
So, uh, yeah, he's done an excellent job, and it takes guys like him and, and guys like Bill to, uh, to make things happen on that side of the coin. But also on uh, the Medicine Hat side, we have uh, Bill Burrard, who's our general manager, and, of course, you, Blake Foster, who is our assistant general manager, among other duties that you have. So maybe, Blake, just tell us a little bit about some of the duties you have, either on a daily basis or on a game basis, or just some of the things that... Uh, take up your time to make things better for uh, for our Medicine Hat Cubs? Well, Kelvin, it's not easy. Uh, if you got an hour, maybe we, uh, I can ex expand on that, but uh, very uh, short in a nutshell. Uh, I am busy every day. I do get phone calls. Uh, Bill Board uh, works uh, eight hours a day, uh, and I take uh, the time up from there. Uh, of course, I'm a retired postie, as you know, and uh, uh, I miss it like a, a sore foot. But anyways, to get back to uh, my duties is, uh, uh, of course, I have to answer the parents. I have to uh, attend to any complaint that comes to me from uh, any of the players. And, uh, and there's a lot of things that we have to deal with the off-ice officials. I look after all the off-ice officials. Um, if somebody's not here tonight, like uh, one of our uh, commentators, I love doing this thing. And I found a, a beautiful guy, a great guy. Uh, to be number one and I think we're going to work on that uh, but anyways coming from that uh, he's making my job easier tonight he made my job easy on our opening night uh, thank the Lord that I had a good man that uh, Calvin Heller to uh, to take my shoes and uh, and fill a great great job he did so my hats are off to Calvin Heller and uh, like I say uh, when Bill's uh, when Bill's busy I'm busier and by busier, it's not a her, 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 it's a busier. But no, in a nutshell, I'm very busy, Calvin, and if it wasn't for people like myself and Bill and yourself and uh, my my staff that's uh, not in the scene and my camera lady, uh, she does a fantastic job. I ha I can't leave her out. Um, you know, it, it takes everybody to be successful. And, and, and it's just like a hockey team. Uh, you got to work together and everybody's got to gel. And if we don't, you have a broken chain, what happens? Well, I, I agree, Blake, and uh, I know from a parent perspective, and I have played some organized sports and so on uh, through my younger years, but, uh, you know, really there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. We have our bingo coordinator, and I know even with you, you're on, you're on every road game, uh, riding the bus, looking after the meals, and I know sometimes the boys complain about getting a little too much pizza or whatever, and I know you do your best to make sure they're not always having pizza, but there's uh, a lot of little uh, details that are looked after by you on a game-by-game on a -game basis. Like I say, if something goes wrong, you're the guy they come to, and it, sometimes you're down uh, working in the penalty box, or sometimes you're up here doing the announcing, or whatever it might be, you're always kind of the fall guy, and... Uh, I know a lot of uh, good good people are, are involved in this organization, and uh, really, when you look at it, um, you know we draw pretty good uh, crowds to our games. Uh, really, except tonight, Kelvin, uh, we have a Tigers game going on, and um, I, of course, there's a few of our fans that's got their iPods on. Uh, they said that they're going to be watching our game also, and uh, in fact, I uh, I can count about a good dozen people that's going to come right from the Tigers game to uh, finish watching our game. I so. agree. I suspect when the game Tiger game is over uh, that uh, there will be more fans coming in here. And again, an 8.45 start, a little bit late for some people that are working and getting up early. But uh, again, just if I could finish up on, yeah. on, on our team, uh, the Medicine Hat Cubs, you know, really, I, I still think this is one of the classiest organizations uh, in, in the Junior B League. Uh, you know, we uh, broadcast our games uh, we run a good show when, uh, when when teams come to Medicine Hat, and we have a nice facility to play in. Uh, it's a very welcoming environment, so, uh, you know, I think the Cubs are up there 40 years strong, Blake. We just had our 40th anniversary of Junior B Hockey in Medicine Hat, and uh, certainly I think uh, you guys should be very, very proud of the job that you guys do and uh, all the work that goes into it. So on behalf of the, uh, the parents... And fans, we just want to say a great big thank you to uh, to all you executive for for the work that you guys put in. We uh, we thank you very much uh, uh, for the that compliment, a, a beautiful compliment. Uh, makes me uh, makes me blush a little bit. Uh, yet I'm on, on not even on camera, but thanks, Kelvin. Uh, uh, yes, uh, you know it's nice to hear that word thank you once in a while. Um, like I said, I do blush once in a while too. But hey. Um, 
uh, it's fun, and 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 we're getting our our, our kickers on. And what I mean by kickers is lovely to see 500 fans in here once in a while. Uh, like tomorrow night, I expect uh, this place to be half full for sure. Uh, and uh, and our sponsors, we could not do it without our sponsors and our, and our volunteers. Like you said, Calvin, it takes a, a big committee. And uh, now we're, we're, we're expecting more and more and bigger and bigger. So uh, under that note, uh, i got to say a couple of things about Beth. Uh, the reason why we got a late game tonight, Banff just came in about maybe half an hour before they were supposed to be a warm-up. They had a little bit of a problem uh, with a the bus. They used to have uh, two vans. They used to come down in vans. Uh, then they had broken... Uh, drive shafts and flat tires and they said well I guess we can get a bus well they got a bus but they got a bus that's maybe a 1943 bus uh, and and then of course that thing breaks down but um, why a late start again is uh, like I said they just got here uh, I think they're a little bit uh, uh, bus legged uh, they don't they're not performing like I see them perform. Uh, not throwing excuses, uh, you know, for, for them. The other thing is uh, they'll have a good nap tonight, good sleep. Uh, tomorrow morning, though, they're going over to the to our arena. They have a date with our um, our Medicine Hat Tigers for morning skate with them. So uh, maybe by the time tomorrow night comes around, it's going to be a good game, uh, Calvin. And I really would invite everybody to come to and watch these guys because you're not going to see these Germans uh, in, in person like you are tomorrow night because uh, these uh, these uh, foreigners, hey, they're going to hit big time. And I know they're going to hit big time. And it might take a year, two years, three years, but they, they're, they're going to be there, Calvin. I don't know who put the, uh, the skate on with the Tigers, but certainly that's a very nice touch for uh, some of the uh, the players that like some of the Russian players or some of the American players or whatever we might have here, right? We got a boy from Israel, Latvia. So uh, Gary Younger organized that. So, so again, I think that just goes to show when you have somebody of uh, that quality running an organization that thinks about all the little details that can make a trip to Medicine Hat just a little extra special because. Uh, uh, you know, there's going to be guys, I mean, let's look, let's face it, Hunter Shinkarik's there, he's going to be going on to the NHL. Uh, you know, Curtis Falk is there, a very, very good player in his own right, who I think is going to uh, end up having a good hockey career here as well uh, in, in the pro ranks. And we've got young Blake Penner, so they're going to meet a lot of people and just a great opportunity for them to uh, really see what the next level of hockey is all about. So I think that's well done and uh, very good uh, gesture on uh, behalf of the Medicine Hat Tigers to allow them to skate. And uh, very uh, heads up uh, by Mr. Unger to, uh, to follow through on that. Well, Calvin, it looks like the officials are waiting for the ice to dry off a little bit. Uh, the buzzer went to, to get them on. on. Uh, yeah, I see the linesman on there uh, getting the nets back on. Uh, I, I, apparently, Bill's got uh, a little bit of work to do with his team. Uh, unfortunately, folks, uh, we didn't get Bill in this uh, break, but uh, I'm going to try and get him the next break before he uh, goes back in the dressing room. Hopefully, they can, can bounce back. But uh, you, know, when, you know, when you're down uh, uh, four rows uh, and trying to bounce back 16 shots against 10, it's not bad, but uh, they can bounce back, Calvin. Well, I certainly wouldn't write them off, Blake. I agree 100%. Uh, you know, maybe Bill just had a few extra words. Maybe they've got a little, uh, the bus legs going and all that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, I definitely don't want to see Banff get the first goal here and, and get things rolling because they're certainly a good skating club. And uh, you give a good skating club an opportunity to uh, get back in the game, uh, they can certainly take it to you. But at the same time, uh, the Medicine Hat Cubs are coming out and playing some good hockey here tonight as well. 
16-10 shots on goal after one period for the Medicine Hat Cubs. Getting ready for the start of the second period. Talking about the second period there, Kevin, I see some good fans uh, just in front of us here uh, having a ball. Hey, yes, yeah, speaking of our fans, we have... Down here we have... Hey, we have some international fans here. We have three fans from Korea. They are college students, as well as two from Japan. So they're right down here. It is totally, uh, truly international day here today. So thank you and welcome to you, uh, you fans from Korea and uh, Japan. Hopefully you enjoy the uh, Messinet Cubs hockey. Okay, Blake, we're underway. Keegan Bertram at center ice here now. Plays a puck over to Larishell. Larishell throws it, uh, slows it down again. Back to Kyle Furkowski, who's playing the point here tonight. He can't clear the zone, and it's offside. He's doing a good job back there, Calvin. I didn't think he was a defenseman, but he's small, but he's fast, and he, you know what? There's no fear in that guy. You're right, no fear in him, and he has done a very nice job. I know he played back there a little bit last game, and as well, Dorian Bernhardt. A couple uh, forwards that are back on the point filling in. We got a couple guys out. Uh, uh, Braden Weisgerber's injured as well as uh, Cameron Stock. So a little short on the back end and the boys are filling in very nicely. Here's a pass cross ice to uh, Keegan Bartram. He can't find it now. Here comes uh, Banff starting out of their own zone. Robertson in over the line. Robinson loses the puck behind the net and we're going to have a penalty on the play. I didn't see what it was, Blake. Uh, yeah, see? Robertson got a high stick uh, on, uh, on him and uh, that's I think that's what uh, drew the penalty. No, it's going against uh, no, oh, Robinson. Robinson. Now, he, not the he stick rebelled. out. He okay. rebelled, Calvin. He did get a stick a high, but he rebelled. All right. So we we're telling me after the play. All right, a little retaliation. So the Cubs go to the power play. Here we go. Uh, Gallipo at the point. He throws a puck down low to Sean McGuire. McGuire now bumped along the end boards. There's Stahl working hard along with McGuire. Cubs out manning them two on one down low. Here's McGuire from behind the net. Look for the back goal for Pavelmacher. Oh, there's a loose puck at the side of the net and Stahl can't put it in. Bart clears his own now. Here we go. Starting out. Partial breakaway. Nice defensive play there. Colin. There's a good play. You bet. Here's Bath now. Oh, there's a hard hit. I believe that was uh, Brandon Stahl. That was a hard hit there. Oh. Now the Cubs starting out of their own zone. McGuire up on the boards for Cole Stevenson. Stevenson has a lane. Driving the net. Oh, and a fine defensive play. By the Banff defenseman, I didn't quite catch his number there, Blake. That was by the number three. What a great play there along the boards. McGuire back down low now. Stevenson working on the end board. Stevenson tries to throw it down for Stahl. He can't get it. Banff clears his own. Cole Schaefer stops the puck in behind the net. Stretch pass up on the boards. Gallopo throws across ice to Heller. Heller's looking for the drop pass. Oh, he goes for the glove pass. And they're going to blow that down. That's all right, Calvin. Uh, you, you know, Heller had no chance but to do that. Uh, it would have been a breakaway for them. Yes, good play to knock it down. And uh, although the puck will come outside, no harm is done on that play. If it wasn't for Heller, they would have had a good chance for a scoring. Okay, nothing wrong with the faceoff, right? Okay, Cubs win the draw, or Cubs lose the draw, rather, going into the bounce zone here. It's uh, Eagle Tail in behind his own net now. Eagle Tail, Heller gives him a little bump on the boards. Uh, in behind their own net. Lucif, Lucif throws the puck out, knocked down by Kyle Frakowski at the point. Cubs setting it up now. Frakowski, he winds up, takes the shot, knocked down in front. Frakowski. That hurt there, Kevin. I think it did. Frakowski regrouping now. Looking to throw across ice, changes his mind, goes cross ice to Fury now. Fury dumps the puck in, here comes the forecheck. Knocked down by McKay, McKay plays it along the end board. Oh, and that slips through the feet of Kyle Furkowski and out into the Medicine Hat Cubs zone. He thought he had it with his skates there, Kevin, and just jumped over his skate, and that's it. Took a bounce hop, there's no doubt about that. Okay, puck comes out now, here come the Cubs, three on two. Heller breaking down the right side, throws the puck at the net. Comes back to the point. Here's Dorian Bernhardt now. Nice little move there. Bernhardt to the net. Snapshot. Rebound. Loose puck at the side of the net. And here comes the academy. Dylan Robinson now breaking out of his own zone. Tarkowski falls in the play. Here's Robinson. In over the line. Robinson shot. Oh, and I think Schaefer got a piece of that one. And we're going to have a penalty, Blake. And we may have... No penalty shot? No, no penalty slashing. shot. Slashing. They're the calling it slashing. But that was a heck of a save, Kelvin. I mean, 
Perfect save. Again, real nice play, and I think uh, pretty much had to take the penalty on that one. He was in home free, and again, Blake, I agree, a real nice save by Schaefer. He didn't overreact, just went with the puck and uh, nicely steered the puck into the corner. Okay, Cubs shorthanded for two minutes here. We'll see what Banff can do here. Uh, they win the draw. They have it on the half wall now. I believe it is uh, back to the point here to uh, Eagle Tail. He throws the puck down low. Banff working it on the end boards here now. Back up top to Eagle Tail. Eagle Tail over Lusoff. Lusoff takes a shot wide of the net. Sokus, he plays the puck back to Eagle Tail. Over to Lusoff. Lusoff throws it back down to Sokus. Sokus, cross ice, back to the point. Back down to Sokus again in the corner. Cubs doing a nice job of boxing out. There's a nice little nifty play in front of the net by Lusoff. Back to the point. Long shot. Schaefer eats that one up. Oh. That was another, uh, another save that he had it all the way, Calvin. Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, you know, it doesn't surprise me with a little bit of pressure on here, but you know what? Schaefer's got it all the way. Well, I think the key there, Blake, is again, uh, the defense are doing a nice job moving the guys out in front of the net. They're, okay. letting, they're letting Cole see the puck all the way in, and he's just uh, taking it right in the breadbasket and uh, getting the whistle. Minute 19 left in the power play here. Uh, Gallopo along the end boards here. He's trying to get the puck out. Can't do so. Back down low. Uh, Banff Academy working down low along the end boards. Nebeski down low. Good. 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 Okay, down front road. Oh, the puck goes just wide of the net now. Here comes the Banff Academy. A little pressure on here right now. It's number uh, 19, Lusoff again. He's been dangling with the puck all night here and can't seem to get nothing to go for him. But I'll tell you, when he gets the puck, he's certainly a presence. Lusoff back in his own zone now. Starting up the right side. Lusoff now across the red line. He crosses over the blue line. Lusoff going coast to coast. Oh, knocked down in front there. Furkowski does a nice job. Beautiful job there, Kellen. Puck is clear of the length of the ice. Knocked down by McKay. McKay uh, back down in. Knocked down again, McKay. Play's happening quick here, Blake. I can't even keep up. Here we go. We have um, the Academy again trying to start off. We have defensemen. Okay. Catch your air there. Your breath there, Kevin. You okay? We're okay, but I don't have number five's name on my list here, Blake. That's why I'm stumbling for words, and the puck is uh, tied up by Cole Schaefer. i got to find out who and number you, five and is. And you know what? Number five's not even on the sheet here, so... Well, so that would explain it. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, some, some jerseys got switched around okay, here. Okay, we don't have them. Well, it looks like the Cubs might uh, kill this one off, Blake. Only four seconds left here. We have uh, Fury out to take the draw here. And uh, he's taken the draw against uh, Dylan Robinson. He's from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, Fury loses the draw, comes back to the point. Here's Lusoff now. Lusoff with a long shot. Schaefer with a blocker save. And the penalty's over. Bernhard back on the ice. Uh, Tanner Barton working down low now. Fury in to support the play. Fury, Barton working down low. Chip the puck to Heller. Heller, he tries to clear the zone. Didn't get much on that one. Here's Tanner Barton in behind his own net now. Fury in along the end boards. Dorian Bernhardt going to work here. Back to Lusoff at the point. They throw it down low again. Banff's got the cycle going here, Blake. Uh, they got us on they our have. heels a little bit. They have. They have. And the Cubs managed to clear the zone. Puck goes deep into the bound zone. McKay stops the puck behind the net. He tries to hit Lusoff. Lusoff can't uh, pick up the puck. Uh, Mark Janish along the boards there. Heller knocks it down. Pokes at the puck. Yeah, they just get it out over the zone. Uh, here comes Dylan Robinson again. He clears the puck in. Schaefer stops it behind his own net. Here's uh, Cody Furkowski re reversing the play. Throws it over to Paul Vemacher. Paul Vemacher, uh, rink wide to uh, Goldade. Goldade can't quite handle it. Paul Vemacher hammers the puck back in. Cubs are trying to make a change on the play. And starting out of their own zone. Nick Drought now plays it up. Oh, delayed penalty coming up here. Delayed penalty. The goaltender's out of the net. Here we go. Bamf into the zone. We have uh, Jonas Gordon, and the puck is whistled on the Cubs touching it. And Bamf is going to be going on the power play for two minutes, Blake. Did yeah. you see who got the penalty? Yeah, it was uh, slashing uh, Calvin, uh, number five. Uh, Ray, Ray slashed the guy. He was going to have a breakaway, but, uh, you know, I think that saved the breakaway. Ray Paul Vemacher doesn't take many penalties, so uh, I'm assuming that he uh, must have felt... Uh, he needed to, to try and slow the play down, and he's off for two minutes for slashing. So uh, back on the power play goes uh, the Banff Academy Bears here, Blake. 
Okay, they throw the puck cross ice. There's that number five again. We gotta try and get his number, or try and get his name here, Blake. Yep. Banff working down low, Richard Nesby. Oh, there's a hard shot on goal by uh, Fuhrer, and that's uh, knocked down by Schaefer. Clubs clear the zone. Nice little play. Cameron Fear back in his own end to pick the puck up. Settles in behind the net. Minute 30 left in the power play. 4-0. Medicine at Cubs. Starting out of his own zone. Uh, cross ice pass to uh, Lusoff. Lusoff again. Looks like a good uh, headsy player there, Blake. And uh, I don't think we want to give him too many chances. Uh, not too many at all. Talk about uh, number five, Calvin. He's an affiliated player. He's an underage midget. And that's why you don't see him on the Okay. Feet. Thanks, Blake. Okay, here comes Banff again. Lusoff dumps the puck into the corner. Here's the academy working down low. We have uh, Richard Nesby down low trying to get the puck out front. And the puck goes back in behind the net. Here's Austin Gallopo now. He just lugs the puck into the corner and flips it out. Uh, 52 seconds left to go on this power play. McKay plays the puck in the corner to Fear. Fear now. He throws a rink-wide pass and unable to touch it, going back all the way into the Banff zone for an icing. Yeah, it shouldn't have been an icing, Calvin. Uh, uh, the player touched at the blue line. Uh, he would have had a breakaway, of course. Uh, we got a lucky one. That's all there's to it. Well, we'll consider ourselves lucky on that one, and uh, we'll see if it gets evened up here a little bit later on. 43 seconds left on the uh, penalty kill for the Cubs. Here's Lusoff in behind the net. He loses the puck here. I believe it's McGuire. Yeah, McGuire. Then he then turns it over. And here comes Jonas Sokas. Sokas up over the line. Here comes Banff. Cross the Cubs zone. Uh, into the corner. Here we go. Uh, Eagle Tail. He loses the puck down low. Kyle Furkowski battling hard along the boards with Sokas. Sokas and Furkowski. Sokas comes up with it. Throws the cross ice. Oh, and that was a good scoring chance by uh, Kobe Eagletail there. Just fired it through the open crease. Now, back in their own zone now. Chip the puck up along the boards. Here comes Sokas again. Sokas crossed the line. Dumps the puck into the corner. Uh, Dylan Robinson, he's in there forechecking as well. Puck comes around the boards. Back for Eagletail. Eagletail throws it back down low for Sokas. Sokas working hard now along the boards. Mark Janish in there to help. Oh, and a good chance. Puck comes right out to Dylan Robinson from Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, he takes a shot right on goal. And Schaefer with a nice, solid save again. Well, you see, Schaefer wasn't screened. He's seen a shot right right from the start. And uh, we were uh, even strength here, too, Calvin, at, the, uh, at shot time. So, yeah, Schaefer comes up with a good one. And the Cubs managed to kill it off again, Blake. So uh, two for two on the penalty kill, which is nice to see. Here's Gallipo now getting the puck deep into the uh, bounce zone. Bounce, pick it up. They chip the puck out deep into the Cubs zone, and we're going to have an icing. It's going all the way back down the ice. Yeah, a little bit of miscue there, Calvin. But uh, hey, we need a little bit of break. Uh, I see they're sh uh, they're changing uh, the line. Uh, uh, no, because he's having a couple words with the coach. Hey, that's good. That's great. I think uh, Jason Barker must have said, get out there and uh, have a good hard shift, keep it short, and make something happen, and then uh, let's change it up and get some fresh legs out there. Oh, Fikowski wins the draw. Back to his brother Kyle. Kyle dumps the puck into the corner now. Uh, Bab starting out of their own zone. Clear the puck, and it's knocked down by Gabe Larishell. Larishell over to Austin Gallopo. Gallopo, he's having a little trouble at the red line, gets the puck, crosses the blue line. Here comes Gallopo with a nice toe drag. Back up. Austin Gallopo. Oh, what an individual effort there's there. Another, there's another ideal play, Kevin. Uh, picture frame. Uh, he uh, stuck candle to, uh, with uh, his my almighty... A title, Calvin. It was pretty. I'll tell you, he has four goals in two games for Gallipo. I don't know. I know his mom fed him uh, salsa chicken last uh, last game. He scored a hat trick, so I don't know if he had leftovers or what. But uh, just a beautiful play by Gallipo. And we're going to have a goaltending change here, Blake. Uh, I, I knew it was going to come, uh, Calvin. I knew it was going to come. I think that's a good call by the coach. They're going to give McKay some rest here and... Uh, Get the backup goaltender in there, uh, Michael Lenko. Uh, he's in there. He's a lefty. And uh, really, you know, you can't fault McKay. Uh, the Cubs have just been all over him here tonight. And I think the coach is just saying take a night off and uh, get ready to go tomorrow night. Well, you can't blame him. I mean, 18 shots, Kelvin, and they were superior shots. I mean, yeah. hey. Uh, you can't you can't fault Bill. Uh, Bill's going to rest him up uh, and play him tomorrow. I suspect we'll see him tomorrow night. I agree 100%. Okay, Cubs got the pressure on again. 
Gallopo unassisted there. Oh, Bernhardt goes hard into the boards there. Uh, into the high slot, bounce has a puck, and they turn it over. Here comes Flakowski up for Larishel. Larishel, Bartram, Flakowski, cross the blue line. Larishel takes a bump along the boards. Larishel working on the half wall, throws it behind the boards for Bartram. Bartram now starting the cycle, cycles it back to Flakowski. Flakowski, he's in the corner, takes a little bump along the boards, throws it down for Bartram. Bartram to Flakowski, and he can't do nothing with it. Back to Polamacher. Down low to Bartram. Bartram now on the boards. He takes a bump. Correction, that was Stevenson. Back for McGuire. McGuire in behind the net. Banff chipped the puck along the boards and gets past Tanner Barton all the way down the ice for an icing going face off. We'll be back in the Banff zone. Well, Calvin, I tell you, the Madison Hat's not lit up at all. They're, they're lighting up the, the scoreboard, but they're, they're not uh, laying back at all. I agree, Blake. They've come out hard in this uh, second period here, and uh, if it wouldn't be for Schaefer with a couple nice saves, we could be looking at a 4-2, 5-2 uh, score here. So, uh, again, the importance of good goaltending, and Schaefer's provided it all last year and uh, done a nice job this year along with uh, Tanner Pruden. So we've got a good goaltending duo going here in Medicine Hat, and uh, that's what you're going to need uh, from now till uh, the end of playoffs. Absolutely, Kelvin. That's uh, number one. Uh, if you don't have that goaltending, as you can see tonight with Banff, you're, you're sunk. Okay, puck is deep into the corner. Banff now down low. Schaefer knocks the puck down, and the puck is in behind the net. I believe it's Ferkowski working along the boards. In comes uh, Gallopo to help out. He picks the puck up now, throws it up on the sidewall, chips it out, and we're going to have an icing on the play. Blake, I know you wanted to thank some of our sponsors earlier and maybe you want to do it again yeah, here tonight. I do, Kevin, uh, if you don't mind. Uh, uh, Medicine, Hat, uh, uh, Medicine Hat Lodge, they uh, give us uh, two nights accommodation and executive suite and $40 for casino chips and uh, deluxe Conanto breakfast. That's going to be drawn for uh, our final game uh, in February. And uh, thank you, Medicine Hat Lodge. Did you say trip to Las Vegas? Uh, no, this is another one. This is for your sweetheart and uh, and yourself to Honeymoon Suite. Honeymoon Suite. Okay, well, anyhow, we better get back to the game here, Blake. We're getting distracted. Uh, Balfe dumped the puck in. Schaefer stops it in behind the net. He plays it up high on the glass. Tries to get the puck out. It's along the half wall now. Heller chips it ahead to Fury. Fury can't do much with that. And uh, Balfe regains possession of the puck here. It's scrambling here all of a sudden, Blake. Uh, neither team really seems to be taking charge. Here's Bernhard in his own zone now. He throws the puck up on the boards. Heller just uh, chips it ahead. Fury in pursuit of the puck. Fury, gold aid Heller out here on the ice along with Pavel Macker and Bernhard who gets a shot from the point and he broke his stick. Puck goes low into the corner. Fury working hard. Here comes gold aid to support the play. Fury with a nice work along the end boards off the Heller in the slot and that's knocked down in front. Here's Fury with a nice move. He takes a shot and just wide of the net. Hey, here comes that cup pressure again. Uh, Barton throws a puck down low. Fury again. Here comes the cycle. Cycles it down to Goldie. Tries to get it to Fury. Back in behind the net. Pavelmacher now with the puck. Chips it down low to Fury. Heller picks it up. He throws it to Fury. Fury behind the net to Goldie. Goldie tries to stuff it in the side. Of the Here's Goldie again. Some good work here by Goldade. He's got it back to the point now. Throws it back down low for Heller. Hey, here's the cycle game coming right now. Fury, Heller cycling down low. Uh, Bob uh, gains possession of the puck, starting out as Lusoff. Lusoff loses the puck. Hey, there's a good shift right there. Fantastic, Kevin. Cubs make a line change. Bartram with Furkowski and Larishel now on the ice. Stretch pass, and they are offside. Uh, Three-line pass there. Kevin. Logan Milligan offside on that play, and we're going to have a face-off. Outside Wait, man, the bounce zone. You, you, can you imagine the pressure that these guys had the last minute and a half? I, I can't believe it. That's just one of those shifts, I think, Blake, where, where they go out there. There's not a lot of shots on goal, but what they did is they got a lot of pressure on the team, and uh, it certainly tires them out. Here's uh, Bartram with a quick shot. That's deflected up and out of play. Face off again to the left of uh, Banff goaltender. Shots on goal here, 18-15 in favor of the Cubs. Okay, Cubs battling for the puck along the end board. Here's Lusoff now, starting out of his own zone. Lusoff throws the puck, and it's going down the ice for an icing.
Give it a little static key, honey. Okay, face off in the bound zone. Here we go. We have uh, Farkowski. He loses the draw. Here comes the Banff Academy Milligan starting out of his own zone. Takes a bump along the boards from Bartram. Farkowski picks it up, reverses it along the end boards. Here we have Jonas Gordon. Here's Kyle Farkowski now starting out of his own zone. Farkowski. Deep into the bounce zone, throws it back to Larishell. Larishell cross ice for Kowski in front. He can't do much with that. Bab chips the puck out, heading down the ice into the Cub zone. Nick Drought in on the forecheck. A little bump along the boards. Drought, he loses the puck. Cubs battling down low. Gallopo now. Gallopo starting out of his own zone. Pass up the center to Cole Stevenson. Stevenson, he loses the puck. Bam, dumps it back in. On the forecheck, we have... Um, Edgar Fitzpatrick now. Fitzpatrick, he couldn't do nothing with that. Cubs starting out of their own zone. Oh, hard hit at center ice. And we might have some interference coming up. What happened there, Kevin? I didn't uh, quite see it. Definitely did not have the puck, Blake, and uh, it's going to be an interference penalty for sure. And uh, the bounce player did not take too kindly to that. That is uh, J.B. Uh, Bedbury. And uh, that's kind of a big dude that uh, Frakowski was going after there. And you know what? I have to really put, take my hat off, Calvin, at uh, Cody. Cody just, you know, he's kind of a fighter. And he's a mouthy guy. And you know what? He took it. Uh, and you know what? He didn't hurt the team. There's definitely no doubt about it, Blake. He's shown excellent um, discipline this year. Uh, way down in penalties, and that's certainly what the team needs. But having said all that, Banff is going back. On the power play, 5.47 left in the second period. Banff going on the power play, trailing 5-0. Well, you know, Calvin, uh, we're, talk we're getting back to Cody. Uh, Cody was uh, is very disciplined this year for the simple reason he's the leader. He's the C. And if he starts fighting too early in the game, we need him out there. I agree, Blake. And I, I'm sure Jason Bartram said to him, uh, look, Cody, we want you to be a leader. We're going to give you the C, and uh, I want you to run with it. But, you know, bear in mind, you need to be disciplined. You need to be a leader. You need to lead by example. And uh, that's exactly what he's done. So uh, great, uh, great call on behalf of the uh, coaching staff of the Medicine Hat Cubs. Well, you got that right, Calvin. Uh, are my hat's off to him. Okay, Bamf, ready to go to work. Ready to go to work on the power play here. We have uh, Cole Stevenson as well as um, Dorian Bernhardt out there, Raymond Paul the Macker. I believe it's Sean McGuire, is that correct? Yeah, that's, that's Sean McGuire. Yep. Oh, boy, uh, there's no power play. We're five on five. Oh, no, 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 five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes, there, Kevin. Banff received the five minute penalty. My gosh, you're right. You know, I'll tell you, the Cubs are on the power play, yep. Blake. I need to pay a little closer attention here. I thought Flakowski was getting that. Oh, no, no. Uh, I, I'd seen uh, Flakowski was uh, uh, edged into a fight, and uh, they cut Ben instead of Flakowski. They give Bedberry five minutes for fighting, Blake. I don't know if any knuckles were thrown there or not, but anyhow, he's gone for a five in a game, so the Cubs have a five-minute power play. Here's Sean McGuire in behind the net, throws it out front. Knocked down by Bath. Now back in behind the zone. Right into the front of the slot. Oh, Cole Stevenson fires one over top of the net. Here's Sean McGuire along the boards. He can't do nothing with it. Bath gets the puck, clears it out. Ah, uh, Schaefer playing the puck back in behind the net. He throws it around for Paul Vemacher. Paul Vemacher now starting out of his zone. He zigs here and loses the puck along the boards. Sean McGuire back in to help out. McGuire stops, reverses the play, heads up ice. Ah, uh, here come the Cubs, Blake. Brandon Stahl in over the line. Stahl looking for Stevenson. Throws it in front. Stevenson fires it through the crease looking for McGuire. And he was a little late getting there. Now the puck deep in the uh, bound zone. Back to the point. Dorian Bernhardt flips one at the net. Big rebound there. Back to Paul Macker. He fires one over top of the net. Knocked down at the half wall by Stevenson. Back down low. Here comes the cycle. McGuire working down low. He uh, throws a puck down for Stevenson. Stevenson now working on the end wall. He takes a bump along the boards. McGuire, Stevenson doing some nice work down low. It's a hand pass there, Calvin. 
346 left in this five minute major. Cubs, Cubs up five nothing. Well, we gotta take advantage of this five minutes uh, power play, Calvin, because if we don't take uh, advantage of it, we could find ourselves in a little bit of a hole in the last period. Okay, looks like uh, Coach Bartram's going with a little bit different lineup here. We got uh, Bartram at center, Heller on the wing, along with uh, Larishell. Here's Tanner Bartram now. He's uh, battling at our Cub blue line here. Heller in to help, and it looks like he takes a hard hit along the boards. No penalty on the play. Here comes Larishell. Larishell, oh, a nice pass to Bartram, driving to the net. He uh, circles off into the corner. Bartram now hanging onto the puck, looking to set it up. Throws it to Bartram. Or Barton, rather, at the point. Uh, just about hung him out to dry there, but he makes a good play to recover, and Banff does clear the zone. That was a, a hard hit there, Kevin. Tanner Barton back in his own zone. Throws the puck up ice. Nothing doing. Here's uh, Keegan Bartram. Intercepts it now. Bartram, Heller in over the line. Keegan Bartram in the corner for Larishell. Larishell. Bartram going to work. Here's Larishell looking out front. Oh, and a nice defensive play by Lusoff there just to knock the puck off his stick. Here's Larishell. On the end wall, Larishell now working the half wall. Back down low, Heller loses his stick on the play. Here's Keegan Bartram working hard. Heller in to support the play. Uh, back to the point. Down low it goes again. Furkowski throws it down for Larishell. Larishell looking for uh, Bartram. Bartram now behind the net. He's going to walk out. Keegan Bartram back to the point. Raymond Pulvernacker now. He throws it down low to Bartram again. Cubs uh, maintaining possession but not getting many shots on goal. There's a shot. Knocked down in front. And uh, here comes Bam breaking out. Dylan Robinson now. Robinson crosses the Cub blue line. One on two. Takes a long shot. And uh, that's wide of the net. Here's Kyle Furkowski in behind the net. Two minutes and 15 seconds left on this power play. Furkowski starting out of his own zone. Throws it up on the boards for Bartram. Bartram, he can't get it out. Pucks chip back out into the neutral zone. Over the skater, Raymond Pulvermacher deep into the Cubs zone. Paul Vemacher back behind his own net. Less than two minutes left to go in the five minute major. Paul Vemacher has to circle back. Cubs having a little trouble breaking out here. Throws it on the half wall to uh, Gallopo. Gallopo back to Paul Vemacher. Cross ice to um, Goldade. Goldade. McGuire, nice pump along the boards. Here we go. Here's Fury now down low. Throws it down for McGuire. McGuire, Fury, and Goldade out front. Oh, and nobody there. Banff clears his zone. Schaefer setting us up deep in the Cubs zone. Cubs have had pressure, Blake, but unable to get many shots on goal in this five minutes. Ah, they're just getting too fancy, Calvin. Okay, minute and 18 left to go. Here's Raymond Pulvermacher now. Pulvermacher crosses the red line into the blue line. Takes a little shot from behind. Gets up, picks a puck up. Pulvermacher in the corner now. Down low for Fury. Fury up front. Oh! Oh, what a save! Fury to Goldie, a real nice passing play, and there's a great save by uh, the goaltender uh, Link. Oh, that puck's off the boards. Link goes in net now, and just a great save there by him. 53 seconds to go. Here's Raymond Pulvermacher now. Dumps the puck back into the bounce zone. On the forecheck, we have Gallopo at the point. Gallopo now throws it down for Brandon Stahl. Gallopo gets knocked down. Stahl to Fury. Fury out to Goldie. That goes right through his legs. Here comes Banff. They're trying to clear it out. Can't do so. Knocked down by Paul Vemacher. Back on goal, and Michael Lenko, he clears the puck up and over the glass. Gets a whistle with 32 seconds left to go in the power play. You know, Calvin, that was a lot of pressure on this time. Uh, uh, that goaltender that they got over there, I tell you, he's making some good saves, Kevin. Well, he's come in under the gun, Blake, there's no doubt. Uh, he's made uh, three or four real nice stops since he's been in. Michael Lenko here, number 31, uh, has a goals against average of uh, 4.36 so far this year. So uh, doing a good job trying to settle things down here for uh, the Banff Bears. Okay, here's the Cubs deep in the uh, Banff zone. Kyle Fikow or Cody Fikowski behind the net. Tries to throw it out front for uh, Keegan Bartram. That's intercepted. Puck comes back into the Cubs zone. Here comes Bartram all the way back in his own zone. Last minute of play in the second period. Bartram behind his own net now. Uh, up on the sideboard, I believe it's for Larishall. No, it was for uh, Bernhard, rather. Bernhard, he loses the puck. Here comes the academy back into the Cubs zone. Uh, Dylan Robinson chips the puck in along the boards for uh, Jonas Sokis. Sokis working hard along the boards now, trying to get the forecheck going. In comes Kyle Furkowski, swings it around the other way. Bernhardt behind his own net. Bernhardt loses it to Sokis. Sokis, oh, tried to clear the puck in front of the net and uh, couldn't do it. Here comes Cody Furkowski now, down the left side. Breaks free through the middle. Takeaway. Cody Furkowski in all alone. Shoot, scores! Beautiful, Colin, beautiful. You, 
And you know, when Cody got that puck, he just danced around the uh, defenseman, and the shot was done. Uh, between the legs, beautiful. Oh, a real nice play by Flakowski. Came down the left side and cut back to the right, and I think uh, the two defensemen actually collided on the crisscross there, Blake. Yeah, well, like and, I said, he uh, danced around them, Count. That sent Flakowski in all alone. He puts it off the post and in. Cubs go up 6 nothing. Real nice individual play by uh, Cody Flakowski. And by the way, Calvin, that wasn't a power play. That was, uh, that was about uh, two seconds after they, were, they came back on the ice. Even strength goal. Uh, here's um, McGuire in over the line. There's a little shot that goes wide of the net. Uh, McGuire working hard behind the net now. Here come the Bounf Academy breaking out of their own zone. Nabisky in along the boards. Puck's cleared in front, and there goes the horn to end the second period. Things starting to get just a little bit chippy. Uh, it is, Kellen. We got a little scaffold there in the corner. The uh, linesman's got it uh, under control. Uh, I believe there's not going to be a penalty on that. Uh, yeah, it is, Charlie Kelvin. It's getting a little chippy. Uh, you can't blame Banff. Uh, really, uh, things are not going their way. Uh, uh, we got a little scuffle in the center there too, Cal. Uh, can you intervene here? Well, I think the Cubs have a nice healthy lead. I think, Blake, if it's me, I'd like to see him just skate off the ice and uh, get the Zamboni out there and let it, the Zamboni get the ice uh, cleaned up and uh, let cooler heads prevail. 6-0 uh, lead. We don't need to get suspensions or nothing. We have to do this again tomorrow night against the same team. So uh, I think it's best to just get to the dressing room and uh, calm down. No, I agree with that. Uh, we See the referee's talking to his uh, linesman there. I believe there's going to be a little bit of a uh, penalty uh, situation here, Calvin. Well, we'll give you the update when we get back for the start of the third period. We'll let you know who's going to be in the penalty box. 6 nothing for the Medicine Hat Cubs after two periods of play. Uh, shots on goal for the Medicine Hat Cubs, 23. And for the uh, Bounf Academy Bears, 15. Uh, by the way, Calvin, uh, I think we got uh, Bill Doherty coming up to our, uh, well, okay, our, our booth. Blake, I'm going to turn the mic over to Bill, and I'm going to let you uh, interview him, so I'll give him my well, I, uh, we're trying, yeah. uh, We'll try and give him a warm uh, reception here, uh, regardless. Bill was down, had a few words with his troops, and I'm sure he said, let's just keep everything calm. we got to do this again tomorrow night. So uh, we're going to let you uh, talk to Bill Doherty, uh, coach and uh, assistant general manager of the Bath Academy Bears. Yeah, but sure. It's my uh, privilege, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to introduce uh, Bill Doherty uh, from the Bath Academy. Uh, welcome to tonight's game, Bill. Uh, it's not what you expected so far, but uh, can you... Uh, uh, can you give us a little bit of uh, history of uh, the academy before we get into tonight's game? All right. Uh, well, we're, uh, this is our 20th anniversary, and we have boys that come from all over the world that come, uh, come to our program to uh, get an education, of course, and uh, to play hockey. We're on the ice every day. We have kids, uh, as I mentioned, from all over. As an example of tonight's lineup, we have a boy from Hungary, Latvia, Austria, Israel, Czech Republic, uh, U.S., and of course Canada, across Canada as well. So we've got a boy from B.C., boy from Alberta, boy from Saskatchewan. So it sounds like uh, to me that uh, your turnover is uh, pretty well from scratch every year. Is it not, Bill? Uh, not every year. We have, you know, we have a do, do have a, we have three three teams in our in our program. So every oh. year we have. Uh, some graduating boys that were able to play at this level uh, that join us. Um, but, there, you know, obviously, uh, given the nature of our program, kids come over for the experience and uh, and the training, of course. And uh, we hopefully, you know, we're, are graduating them onto Junior A and or their national team. We have right. a couple of kids that play right. in their national programs as well. So Great, great. And I understand yeah. that you have uh, one of your boys that... Uh, wasn't your program that's playing for the Minnesota Hat Tigers? Can you uh, talk yeah. about that a little bit? Yeah, well, Scotty, uh, Scotty Allen's playing with the Tigers right now. Scotty came to us uh, three years ago as a 15-year-old and big kid, 6'5", uh, just needed some some ice time and, and some exposure to uh, to uh, you know a, a good strict regiment. And of course, uh, we were able to provide that for him. And last year, halfway through the year, about March. Uh, he ended up uh, staying, staying with the Tigers, and uh, of course he's there with, this, with them this year. 
Great, great. Yeah. Well, that, you know, that there in itself, uh, Bill, it's going to pay uh, dividends uh, to himself and, and to the hockey program uh, that you're running. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Mr. Gary Unger could make it. Uh, I understand he's moving his family to another uh, part of the United States, but uh, uh, are you expecting him back uh, into yeah. the program this year? Yeah, oh yeah, Gary, well, Gary is in the program. He's only been out away for the last week or so, uh, just due to some family issues. Um, uh, Gary is, of course, a 16-year NHL veteran and, and uh, brings a lot to our program in terms of uh, just of that experience. You know, he's been through a lot himself uh, as being a captain and also, uh, you know, his career started with Gordie Howe and ended with uh, Wayne Gretzky. So Great. he's got a lot, of, a lot of good stories, of course, and a lot of great anecdotes for the kids. Uh, you bet, and, then, and these kids can take back this uh, experience uh, back home, wherever they are coming from. Uh, you know, I, I, I was always wondering, uh, it, maybe uh, you can answer this question, Bill. Uh, these boys that go back home, uh, do they uh, go back as leaders? Uh, I ma imagine they will be leaders. Uh, does any of them hit the, the, big, uh, the big programs down uh, in, 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 in the overseas? Well, we, we, like I said, we, a lot of our kids uh, that come from smaller countries, Australia, mm -hmm. Mexico, things mm -hmm. like this, Israel, they're, they go home and play in their national programs, which mm -hmm. is a, you know, a great thing for them, of course. Not many Canadian boys obviously get that opportunity, but these kids do. And you know, our goal with our program is every boy that leaves our program is able to go and be a captain on his team or the next team that he's on. They understand what the, the, the work that's required and the responsibility is required. And that would be a great advantage to that team that, uh, and a good advantage to you because the word would get out, uh, everybody wants to knock on your door and I'm well, sure that's happening now, Bill. Yeah, well, it's, you know, our, our, our programs are like any college or university program. Mm. And is, uh, kids that are looking for a program like ours need to find the right fit, just like a college when you go to choose your university that you yeah. end up going to. You have to choose the right fit for yourself. Our program is similar, you know, we, it, uh, of course we have a beautiful setting living in Banff and the, the, the town has spent $30 million on our facility recently and we have our own dressing rooms and we have a nice setup right now and it, it's, you know, it's a, it's a good environment for, uh, for kids but again at the end of the day it's got to be the right kid and it's got to fit for them. So. And that's exactly right. Uh, NHL hockey, are they looking at this uh, in any respect, Bill? Uh, do you have a, like Gary Unger's got a shoe in, 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 in this organization. Do you do they uh, talk to you or say, well, maybe this kid can fit into our program also? Well, the CSSHL, the, the league that we play in, the Canadian Sports School Hockey League, mm. which has, mm. uh, you know, uh, programs that are very sim uh, similar to ours, um, uh, have we have placed a lot of kids into the, uh, into the WHL uh, and Junior A ranks, and we've got, well, Matt Dumba is a, is a graduate of, mm -hmm. of our, our uh, of our league, the Canadian Sports School League, as an example, and uh, he's doing quite well uh, at the NHL level right now. So, well, that you know, oh no, uh, that, that sounds like a great program, Bill. Um, I admire your program. I admired it five years ago when I first met you. Yeah, uh, you were. Uh, I was talking to you earlier tonight, and uh, we were talking about outdoor ice. Uh, maybe our league could uh, uh, okay or, or or get us uh, uh, available to uh, play a little bit of outdoor ice in Banff. Uh, what's the chances on that, Bill? Well, we we uh, if the weather's right, of course, uh, we're uh, able to skate on. Uh, we've skated on Lake uh, Minnewanka, uh, Johnson's Lake, which are lakes in our area, and and. Uh, we would go out and clear those areas and, and we actually play pond hockey. We bring our whole group out there and, and having kids coming from non, you know, non-traditional hockey markets, it's, it's quite an experience to skate on the lake. Uh, we've had some great experiences uh, with, uh, with the freeze being perfect, meaning there was no snow and it was just the lake froze. It was minus 20 for a couple of weeks in a row and the lakes were like, like glass and uh, you see the fish swimming below and it was, it was quite a unique experience for a lot of the kids. So we, we, you know, we're always open to those kind of ideas and uh, experiences for our for our group, certainly. So we'd, we'd love to entertain that opportunity. And you know, uh, I will take back uh, this idea with uh, to our league and uh, trying to entertain that uh, that uh, uh, program that you got to line up here, uh, Bill. Uh, uh, one of our teams, uh, Madison Hat Cubs, would love, love, love to play uh, down there uh, yeah. with your people if we can uh, get the, the time uh, and and. Uh, sanctioned for it of course we have to get it sanctioned yep. uh, but that's a, a real good idea 
Um, the other than that, though, Bill, uh, you, you're, uh, you were talking about your uh, your facility. It's a fantastic facility. We were down there for uh, uh, game opener for, uh, for with you people, and you had the New York Rangers uh, practicing on the ice. Of course, it was as locked as a, as a, as a vault. We couldn't see too much, but uh, uh, the boys were really, really pinning me, saying, well, get Bill to uh, at least we can shake their hands or or see them through the door uh, I didn't have the opportunity to uh, chat with you on that but yeah. what's the opportunity for a team to to, well, to they, get involved in something well, like that the, the Rangers were actually fabulous uh, when they came down and uh, uh, of course you know our, they used our dressing room our facilities uh, for their training camp I mean they got off to a very rocky start and I, I don't know if they found their way just yet in a, as with their seasonal mm -hmm. starting here Great. But, uh, you know, it was great. They were here. They brought both groups, the uh, NHL group and the American Hockey League group. And there was, I think, 38, 40 athletes up there. So they were able to, we were able to uh, watch, of course, practice and uh, got to meet some of the people. Uh, I understand that some of your players were on the golf course uh, yeah. doing uh, yeah. shaking hands and all that That's stuff. That's right. We did a lot of the... <laughs> a lot of the uh, help with the tournament, uh, the golf tournament they had there, so they raised right. quite a bit of money. As well but for, for but that didn't experience for your boys alone, uh, uh, that's absolutely. a lifetime bill. Yeah, and we had the uh, Winnipeg Jets come in the next oh. week, so oh we boy, been, we're quite fortunate. Well, you know, them. I have to say, thank you, Gary Unger. Uh, uh, it does influence uh, yeah. the NHL a little bit, but yeah. uh, by having him, it's a privilege to have him, I'm sure. Absolutely. Uh, um, no, we'll ju just talk about uh, a little about uh, uh, about tonight's game, Bill. Uh, very shortly, I know that the boys uh, had a long trip here. Uh, you, you weren't here very long. Uh, I think maybe half an hour before you had to put your skates on and yeah. start going. Uh, what's uh, what's uh, well, we we, uh, we definitely came out of the shoot uh, much slower than we wanted to, and uh, I you know I thought we had a better second period. Uh, uh, we took, made some mistakes running around uh, in this second period, but uh, we limited their shots and uh, mm -hmm. opportunities. And the key for us right now is to have a good discipline period and and, uh, and and try and get ourselves back in this hockey game. You know, we are back here tomorrow, and it's uh, you know, obviously every point That's right now right. The, with That's our right. division being very tight. Uh, uh, every point matters, and uh, you know we've got off to a great start. We're five and four right now, and fantastic start. I, that's a, a you know what, Bill. After the five years I've known you, that's the best start I've ever seen. Banff, uh, yeah. oh, the shoot. Yeah, no, we've, we've we've had a good start. We've got some good goaltending, although you didn't see it tonight right now, but. Uh, uh, but we've had some great goaltending, and uh, we've got a good group here, so we're, uh, we're pretty excited about the season. Well, Bill, the, the, the shots that were, were uh, uh, to his way, uh, I have to say that they were quality shots. And he, uh, you know what, give him all the marks in the world. He uh, did not struggle at all. It was just ideal yeah. shots. I mean, they were good shots, quality shots. But this boy here that you... Uh, um, is he a young fella, Bill? Yeah, I they're, both seven to, they're both uh, born in 97. So. Oh, born in 97, so they're both young ones. Uh, this one over here uh, looks impressive to me, Bill. Yeah, he's very good. Um, he says, I, I imagine he's your backup goalie. But uh, again, I think he's got the team settled down a little bit. And uh, a little scuffle towards the end there. I don't know what's going to happen there. But uh, uh, good luck, Bill. And uh, we will talk to you tomorrow night. Okay, Bill. Well, thank you, Mike. Thank you, sir. Thank you. you betcha. Thank All you, Bill. Bye-bye. Thanks, Bill. My pleasure.
It looks like uh, Bamps out, uh, rare to go. Uh, referee's not on the ace yet. Uh, I guess it's a little wet out there. Uh, it looks like, uh, yeah, Bamps uh, biting at the bit. Bill's back on the bench. Uh, that was a great interview with Bill uh, uh, Callum. Uh, uh, if you didn't hear it, uh, you folks, uh, if you didn't quite get it all, you can uh, uh, go to our website, uh, www.medicinehat.com, and it will be definitely be there for, well, hopefully for the rest of the year. But that was a real, real good, uh, real good uh, answer and question uh, period uh, that we had, Bill. Uh, uh, Calvin? Well, I'm glad you got me mixed up with Bill because it sounds like he's quite a guy, Blake, and uh, I'm glad you consider us to be uh, the same type of people. So, uh, you know, no, they are doing a good job, and uh, like I say, it takes people like that, and, and they're working with, uh, with literally kids from around the world, and I just overheard the last part of that interview, but uh, some of their kids have gone on to actually play in the NHL now. I believe they said Dumba. Is that correct? That's right, B uh, Calvin. Uh, I got Bill in my mind, but excuse me, for, uh, folks, but uh, uh, you're right, Calvin. And in fact, uh, they have a, a guy that uh, was on their team last year that's playing for the Minnesota Tigers right now. Very interesting. Well, Blake, we're uh, just uh, getting ready to start the third period here of the Medicine Hat Cubs, holding a 6-0 lead, uh, shots on goal through two periods, 23-15 in favor of the uh, Medicine Hat Cubs. And we're going to get these penalties all sorted out that uh, took place just at the end of the period here. Uh, it looks like Fury's going to the blacks for something. Well, one thing about that, he uh, does not take many penalties, no, so uh, no, that's on that usual. might be his uh, second of the year, so uh, usually doesn't take more than about uh, 10 or 12 minutes in penalties per year, but the Cubs are going to start off shorthanded here. Uh, Bamp's going to be on the power play. Uh, yeah, so no, Calvin, go to the going back to that penalty. Uh, uh, no, Fleury, uh, I didn't even uh, see him on the ice. Uh, maybe he's taking a bench minor. Or that could be a possibility, too. We'll maybe uh, wait for the official announcement here if we get it. Uh, anyhow, Banff, on the uh, Banff Academy on the power play. Dylan Robinson at center ice. Uh, he wins the draw back to his own zone. Banff dumps it into the Cubs zone. Here we have uh, number 14, Mark Janish, along the boards now. Back in behind the net. Kyle Frakowski back to the point here. Over to Lusoff. Lusoff down low. Uh, picked up by Raymond Pelvemacher, nicely cleared out of the zone. Loose off there, stumbles just a little bit, coming out of his own zone. Okay, here come uh, Banff Academy, uh, Eagle Tail here, Kobe Eagle Tail now, up along the boards, and we're going to have an icing here, Blake, a little too far, just out of the reach of uh, Jonas Sokis, well, and they, coming all the way back. You know, Calvin, uh, I noticed something in that, uh, Eagle Tail uh, had two men uh, over the red line, uh, I call that uh, pin uh, pinball uh, machines here, and they just missed a two-man breakaway. Okay, uh, face-off is deep in uh, Banff zone here. We have Co Cody, Cody Flerkowski out to take the draw. Uh, he loses the draw uh, to uh, Janish. Janish now, uh, Banff starting out of their own zone. Over on the far wall here. Here comes the Banff Academy now, out of their own zone. Dylan Robinson now dumps it in even along the boards. Mark Janish now working down low. Back to the point. Um, over on the far side. Uh, I believe that's number nine that we have there, Blake. Yeah, Dylan Robinson now on the half wall. Back to Robinson now. Top of the circles. Trying to set something up. There's a hard shot from the point. And again, Schaefer has clear view of that one. He eats it up and he gets a whistle with one minute left in the power play. You know, Calvin, if he can see it, he's got it. I agree, Blake. And this, uh, well, the proof is in the pudding here tonight. Uh, everything he's seen, he stopped. He stopped everything thrown his way. 16 saves and uh, so far nothing has managed to beat him. Uh, out to take the face off now, we have Michael Pilato. Lotto wins the draw, back to the point here, over on the far side, Banff trying to set something up here, down low, uh, back to the point, back to number five, we still haven't got his name, Blake, we're going to have to get that guy's name for uh, for next game, that's for sure, he uh, gets a lot of ice time, again, back to the point here, on the half wall, Bam. Jonas Gordon loses the ball, loses the puck rather, and uh, clear it off the wall and down the ice, back to regroup in their own zone, Bamp now starting out, Cross ice pass. Up on the right side. Here we go. Bound closing in. Uh, Jonas Gordon now throws it in on goal. Schaefer plays the puck ahead to, uh, I believe that was 15. Um, oh, back in behind the net. Here we go. Larishel throwing it out front here. And we're going to have a penalty on the play. Hooking there, Kelvin. Called on the hook. 
Cameron Fear hooking two minutes. So we're going to be four on four for 12 seconds here, and then the Cubs will be going on the power play, Blake. And uh, I think they're going to have something coming because uh, they're hot right now. Brandon Stahl out to take the draw. Stahl wins the draw. Back to Dorian Bernhardt. Bernhardt, he throws the puck down for McGuire along the boards. Stahl on the other side on the forecheck. Handled nicely by Banff in their own zone. Break it out on the half wall. Here comes the Banff Academy now. Hits the blue line. Dumps it in deep. The penalty is over. Cubs are on the power play. Here's Fury now. Deep in his own zone. Trying to make something happen. Comes back to the point. Long shot by Banff. That's just wide of the net. Schaefer can't uh, do nothing but get up and react to the play. Okay, here we go. Banff back in their own zone. Dylan Robinson now. Cross ice, dumping the puck deep down. Paul Vemacher picks it up, over to Bernhardt. Bernhardt now, crossing the red line. Here comes Bernhardt in, trying to set things up on the play. Bernhardt takes a little bump. Here's McGuire now, McGuire out front. Here's Paul Vemacher at the high slot, wide of the net. Dorian Bernhardt, pinching down, throws it down low for uh, McGuire. McGuire over to Stahl, Stahl back to McGuire. McGuire in front of the net. Loose puck at the side of the net. Banff gets the puck and clears it out. I good pressure again, Kevin. Yeah, there's very good pressure. I believe that was uh, loose. Oh, there's just Fury just about took a knee to the head. Good thing he got out of the way there. Puck is cleared deep down into the zone. Fury, Heller, Goldade out here on the power play. 45 seconds left. Hammered back in. Cubs try to make something happen. Raymond Pavlamacher behind his uh, own net here, starting out slowly. Reverses it, getting a little too fancy here, Blake. Trade, no communication, Kevin. Larishell now on the half wall. Here comes Gabe Larishell. Try to make something happen with 20 seconds left. Larishell again picks it up. Loses the puck. Here comes Banff in over the line. Tripped up at the line. Paul the Macronel battling hard along the boards. Shot thrown towards the net. Here's uh, Kyle Furkowski. Seven seconds left. Looks like nothing's going to happen on this power play, Blake. Uh, Two seconds, we're uh, five on five. Here comes uh, Goldade in over the line. Goldade now on the half wall. Goldade down deep. Takes a little bump along the boards. Here's Heller in on the cycle now. He's on the half wall. Heller back to Gallopo. Gallopo at the point. He throws it at the net. It's knocked down in front. Here's Fear now starting out of his own zones. Fear up on the boards, chips it out and into the neutral zone. Gallopo now throws it back into the zone. Here comes Heller. Little chip pass for Goldade. Goldade now on the half wall. Here's Goldade. Cycles up high, throws a cross ice to Gabe Larishell. Larishell takes a shot, that's wide of the net. Comes back to the point, here's uh, Gallopo, flips it down for Goldade. Goldade, cross ice for uh, Frakowski, just out of his reach. Uh, I believe that's Heller all with the puck, closing in. Heller working on the half wall here, along with Goldade. Puck goes to the net, and Linko, he plays it to the side of the net. And here comes the Banff Academy, starting out of their own zone. Here's Mark Janish now, into the Cubs zone. Janish puts on the brakes, looking to throw across ice. He does, nice pass to Robinson. He fires the puck wide of the net. Janish holds the puck in at the line, throws it back down low. Here comes Robinson on the forecheck, bumps Furkowski in behind the net. Tries to throw it in front of the net. Nice play by Cody Furkowski. Here comes the Academy, closing in. Number 11, Jonas Sokis. He just fires the puck and not hit a stick in front of the net. Gallopo gets the arms up there. And uh, no penalty on the play. Puck is down low here. Dylan Robinson, he takes the bump, gets the puck up to Fury. Now Fury chips the puck too far for Furkowski. And the puck is dumped back in. Schaefer stops it in behind his own goal. Um, Furkowski up to uh, his brother uh, Cody Furkowski. Leaves it there for Ben Fury. Fury closing down the left side. He's bumped off the puck. Keegan Bartram can't get to it. Cody Furkowski with a little bump. And we have an icing coming up. No, it's waved off. Tanner Barton back in behind his own zone. Starting out with a head of steam now. Here's Barton across the blue line. Knocked off his stick. Here comes uh, Cody Furkowski on the play to help out. Furkowski in along the half wall to Bartram. And oh, what a save by Linko. Nice play to get across on that. No whistle on the play. Puck still down low in the uh, bounce zone. Cody Furkowski going to work here on the forecheck. Knocked down. Here's Keegan Bartram behind the net. Bartram, he can't keep a handle on it. Brandon Stall in on the forecheck. And the puck comes loose and out into the neutral zone. Here's Tanner Barton. Barton ahead to Furkowski. Furkowski regroups. Back to Paul Vemacher. Paul Vemacher now crosses the red line. Dumps the puck in. Cubs make a change on the play. Bath now deep in their own zone. They just clear the puck along the boards. 
and back in. Delayed offside coming up. Here comes Bamp. Stretch pass. Up the ice. Here we go. Uh, Nebeski. He can't handle the puck. Michael Pilato in along the boards. Here's it right in front to number four. Oh, and a great chance here for uh, Rosenthal. Had the puck, took it on his backhand and couldn't quite throw it up high over Schaefer, but uh, Schaefer made a good job coming across on that. Yeah, he sure did, uh, Calvin. Uh, like I said, uh, he's on his top of his game tonight, uh, Cal. And it looks like we have a cup going to the penalty box there, Blake. Uh, Dorian Bernhard must have been for tripping. I didn't see it. I didn't see it either, but uh, two minutes for... Oh, no, it's two. It, two minutes, you're right, uh, Calvin, for tripping. Okay, so the... Yeah, it is Bernhardt, two minutes for tripping. Okay, so the academy going to work on the power play. Cole Stevenson, he hacks the puck out and all the way down the ice, forcing Banff to uh, retreat back into their own zone. Lenko back in behind the net. He tries to play the puck along the wall. That's knocked down in the neutral zone and cleared back in by Cole Stevenson. Michael Lenko now setting the puck up behind his net. Throws it back for his defenseman along the board. Starting out of his own zone now. Here comes the academy across the red line, dumped into the blue line. Cubs get the puck and dump it out. Brandon Stahl on the forecheck now. Stahl, he has some good wheels. He checks up and uh, gets back in the defensive position. Uh, Bap now into the Mets net Cubs zone. Here we have Pilato into the zone. And the puck is fired up and out of play by Austin Gallipo. 12 minutes and 30 seconds left to play here, Blake. Cubs uh, a nice, uh, comfortable 6-0 lead. Uh, they're, and they're using that lead, Calvin. Uh, they're still putting the pressure on, but uh, uh, yeah, I, I think they're laying back just a bit. Uh, the, the play's been in uh, their end for a little bit too long. I think sometimes when you get a comfortable lead, too, it's easy just to hang back, and uh, you're not going uh, full out like you can. Uh, well, but at the same like time, you don't want to create bad habits either, do you? But you know what? Uh, tomorrow's another day, another game, and uh, save ourselves a little bit, and uh, no injuries. Hey, everything will be good. Heller out to take the draw against Robinson. Robinson wins the draw. Back to the uh, blue line. Here's Robinson on the half wall now. One minute left to go on the power play. Cubs trying to kill it off. They've been good on it all night. Uh, Paul Demacher in the corner now. Uh, Bam has the puck down low. I believe that's Robinson back in behind the net now. He throws the puck over to uh, Janish. Janish back to Robinson. Robinson working down low. Back to the point. Number five over to uh, Robinson. Robinson, he tees it up. Shot. Nice save by Schaefer and a good rebound control. Heller out to block the shot. Robinson, there's a shot right in the high slot. That's knocked down by the Cubs. Cleared out by uh, Goldade. And a nice job uh, penalty killing there by the Cubs, Blake. Schaefer didn't see that uh, shot, but he had his legs straight out. So uh, the right position for his pads. Good positioning does it every time. Okay, here we go. Robinson now uh, with a head of steam uh, into the Cubs zone. Robinson, he throws it back to the point, but the defenseman uh, just a little bit late getting there. And uh, puck comes out over the line. Uh, Bamp has to regroup now in their own zone. Fear starting out, crosses the red line, hits the Cubs blue line, dobs it off to uh, Rosenthal. He tries to get a shot through. That's knocked down by Gallup. Here's Rosenthal at the side of the net. Oh, could have been a penalty there. Little push from behind, but uh, got away with it. And uh, play continues on. Fury takes a bump along the boards and a cross check, and they're going to get called on that one. Oh, yes. He's seen that one all the way, Calvin. Uh, we get the, uh, Of course, we got away with one there, but no, the referee's seen that one. Uh, who's going against, Calvin? Uh, Cameron, Cameron Fear is going to get that for cross-check, and I think that was just more a little bit of a frustration penalty than anything, Blake. But yeah. uh, nonetheless, he's going off for two minutes, and the Cubs are going on the power play. And uh, Fury showing some good discipline there along the boards oh. to, uh, to take that hit and uh, continue on. You betcha, Calvin. That's, that's what it takes is a little bit of discipline, and you got him. Okay, so the Cubs on a two-minute power play here. We have Austin Gallipo at the point. He throws it to Larichelle on the half. Oh, right to Bartram, and Bartram... Somehow, Lenko got across and made that save. I'll tell you, nice little start to the power play, Blake, that right was, there. That was a sure goal, Calvin, but, you know, uh, you, you give a full marks to the goaltender. He had it all the way. Nice play at the blue line, a good little quick pass off the half wall and just about in the net. Thurkowski to take the draw. Thurkowski out there with uh, Bartram and Larichelle. Larichelle thrown into the circle to take the draw. He loses the draw and Bath clears the zone. Schaefer stops the puck deep in the Cub zone. Gallipo back to regroup. Gallipo out there on defense along with Kyle Furkowski. Lead pass for um, Larishel. He can't do nothing with it. Here's Furkowski picking it up. Cody Furkowski in across the line. Furkowski on the half wall. Circles back to the blue line. Furkowski winds up. Slap shot. And a nice save by Lenko there. 
Goes into the half wall. Larishell now. They're starting to set the cycle up. Gabe Larishell working hard along the boards. Larishell turns it over to Gallipo. Gallipo, high slot, hard shot. There's a good save by Linko. There's Furkowski on the half wall again. Cubs getting something going here. Furkowski, he can't uh, keep the handle on that. Throws it low for Bartram. Bartram on the half wall to uh, Furkowski. Back to Gallipo on a hard shot. Big save there. Uh, now we have Kyle Furkowski. He throws it at the net. That's knocked down by Banff. Back to the point, Gallipo keeps it in. Back to Furkowski. Kyle Furkowski over to Larishell. Larishell tries to feed it through, can't get it through. Back to Larishell, working on the half wall. Larishell back up to the point. Cross ice to uh, Furkowski. Over to Larishell and that just slides through the key crease. Austin Gallipo, nice job trying to keep that in. Chipped out and the Cubs are gonna make a change. 30 seconds left in this power play. It's gonna be the last chance right here. Uh, here we go, Kyle Furkowski ahead to uh, McGuire. McGuire now in over the blue line. McGuire drops it off for Kyle Furkowski. Quick shot. And there's Linko again, who's done a nice job, Blake, coming in and shutting the door on the Cubs. Oh, he sure has, Calvin. Uh, there's been four key shots that he saved. And, uh, you know what, uh, four marks on that boy coming in uh, cold. And, uh, I, you know what, he's, he's a player uh, on this period. Yes, he's done a nice job. Brandon Stahl, he uh, loses the draw, but uh, the Cubs get the shot off anyway. Back to the point. Here's uh, Tanner Barton. Barton throws the puck down low to McGuire. McGuire now working the half wall. Tries to cycle it down to Stevenson. McGuire takes a bump. Now it's down to Stevenson. Here's Brandon Stahl on the other wall. Brandon Stahl, he's squeezed out of the play. And they clear it out. Tanner Barton picks it up. Dumps the puck right back in. Cubs doing a good job uh, keeping the pressure on here. Stevenson in on the forecheck. Here comes the Banff Academy now, starting out of their own zone. Uh, defense, here we go. Here, number uh, Jonas Sok is in over the line. Dumps the puck into uh, Pilato. Pilato on a spin shot, and uh, easy save there for Schaefer. Dumped it up to McGuire. McGuire can't get the puck out. Throwing the puck back in on Schaefer. Tanner Barton doing some good work down low. Spins the puck up to, uh, oh, we got a little something going in the corner here, Blake. A uh, little scuffle, 19-8. Tanner Barton getting at her here along with uh, Edgar Fritzkinson. I don't think too much really happens. Oh, they're starting to get her going a little bit. The linesmen are backing out. Oh, a couple, uh, couple of hits there with a the fist there, Kevin. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the night for those two guys. Well, that is the night for those two, Blake, and that's also going to be the next game because this penalty has happened within the last 10 minutes, so these guys will be sitting out tomorrow night's game as well, and we're short on the defensive end, so... Uh, but you know, Calvin, this could be aggressor uh, to a minute, uh, or even uh, who started the fight. Uh, you know, the referee is, is debating what to give him uh, right at this time. Might be nice if they just give him four minutes each, but it looks like they sent them both off the ice. I think they're both going to get five in a game, Blake, and uh, if that's that is the case. Uh, Barton won't be in the lineup uh, for us uh, tomorrow, and uh, neither will uh, Fritkinson for uh, for Banff. So, uh, unfortunately, Kelvin, uh, that 10 minutes is gone. Anything uh, under 10 minutes is uh, automatic game suspension. Automatic gamer. So if you are thinking about it, I guess you better do it at the 10:01 mark oh. or forget about it. Exactly, Kelvin. But you know what? These players don't look at the clocks. They play the game, and that's the way it is. When the temper goes, the temper goes. It doesn't matter what the time is. Uh, that's what you're exactly. telling me? You bet. Uh, well, the coach is going to have to regroup the boys and... Uh, and uh, Substitute these two boys that uh, not uh, the one for sure that's not playing tomorrow night. Uh, I think he could get uh, a little bit more than uh, what's coming up here. There, the referee's asking the linesman some questions. Uh, there could be aggressor. It could be instigator. No, there's there's a two-minute. Uh, so Ferguson gets gets two five in a game. And Tanner Barton gets the same thing, 2-5 in a game. So uh, we're going to be playing 5-on-5 five five hockey here, Blake. I'll tell you one thing that's going to be interesting. We have to do this again tomorrow night. And, uh, you know, the tempers are going to be a little bit short. And that just leads right into when we have to play Cochrane for four games in a row. I can only imagine how that might end up well, being. But uh, you we'll know, cross Kel that bridge when we get to it. You know, Kelvin, uh, never mind Cochrane. We're going Settler Saturday morning. And I tell you, we could, uh, we could uh, frighten Settler a little bit. <laughs> Well, it's been going to get a little rough there, that's for sure. Okay, here we are, five on five hockey. A nice uh, quick shot there by Dylan Robinson right on Cole Schaefer. And that's Schaefer's 19th save of the night. And uh, 
so far haven't uh, been able to uh, get anything by him. Well, you know what? When he's on his game, he's on his game, Calvin. Uh, he Look at Edmonton, uh, the Oil Kings last year. They t uh, took him as a backup goalie. He learned uh, quite a few things from them just that short little time he was there. Yeah, you bet. And he was a solid goaltender for us last year. So uh, back doing a good job again this year along with uh, Tanner Pruden, who I'm sure will be in the net tomorrow night. Okay, here we go. Uh, puck is deep in the Cubs zone here now. Puck is cleared deep down into uh, the Cubs zone. Uh, Robinson down low, battling with Fury. Fury on the board, starting out of his own zone, cutting through the neutral zone. He hits the red line. Fury now, along with Kyler Goldade, and he's going to draw another penalty. I'll tell you, Fury showing some good deal. Oh, to Furkowski, and they score! What a play! What a play, Kelvin. Kyler Goldade right in front of the net. Fury throws it over to Flerkowski, back to Goldade, and in the open net. Tick, with the awesome tack, play. Toe. That's what you should play, tic-tac-toe. Isn't it tic-tac oh. goal? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, tic-tac goal. That's right. All right. Very nice play by the Medicine Hat Cubs right there. I'll tell you, 7 nothing. Cubs on top. And you know, it wasn't a shorthanded goal. It wasn't a power play goal. It was going to be a power play uh, in the next two minutes. But it's all even now. All even up here, 4-4. Four and four. I believe it's 4. No, it's 5-5. Five and uh, five. Uh, Everything's controlled here. Go ahead. 29-19, shots on goal. Cubs up 7-0 here, and we are uh, under 10 minutes to play in this uh, in this first game of uh, two games that will be played here over the next uh, two nights here at the Medicine Hat Kimplex. Uh, puck is on the half wall now. Uh, the Cubs battling with Banff along the boards. Cody Frakowski battling hard with uh, Jonas Gordon. Uh, Gordon takes a bump on the play. He gets the puck over uh, deep into the corner, but that's intercepted now. Here come the Medicine Hat Cubs starting out. Lead pass for Bartram. He can't pick it up. Dump back into the Cubs zone by uh, Bamp. Here's Dorian Bernhardt now. Dangerously out in front of his own net, but he gives a lead pass to Bartram. Keegan Bartram down the wing with Larishell. He can't get the pass through. And here comes the Banff Academy now starting out of their own zone. Ah, uh, number 11, Jonas uh, Sok is in over the line and a quick shot and a nice save by Schaefer and the rebound goes wider than that. Larishell now trying to chip the puck ahead. He uh, looks like the puck jumped up and was in his equipment there and the play is blown dead. Yeah, the referee lost sight of the puck and uh, it was in equipment and uh, fair, fair enough. Uh, it's uh, it's a uh, uh, face-off in the deep in our uh, zone there, Calvin. Face off, you're right, Blake, deep in the Medicine Hat Cubs zone. And we do, uh, we are doing this again tomorrow night, are we, partner? Uh, unfortunately for me, uh, we are, but fortunately for you, you are. We're back here. Jonas Rosenthal here takes the draw for Bamp. Uh, he loses the draw, uh, goes back in behind the Cubs zone now. Uh, here's Kyle Ferkowski in the corner, plays it up for McGuire. McGuire on the half wall, battling hard. Stahl, Brandon Stahl comes in for support. Uh, back to the point. Here's the Academy throwing the puck down low again. Uh, kicked ahead by Gallopo. Gallopo takes one off the shoulder and the puck goes into the corner. Here's Kyle Ferkowski. Throws it over for Gallopo behind his own net. Back for Ferkowski. Picks it up now. Crosses his own blue line. He's across the red line. Into the blue line. Here comes Ferkowski driving hard to the net. Oh! And he hit the goal post, Blake, but unfortunately Boy. it wasn't with the puck. It was with him, but I don't think he... Oh, but he had the puck uh, centered, and I sure, I'm sure that would have been a real good chance for us, but is he injured, uh, uh, I think he's good. I think he's okay. He's a tough kid. He just drove hard to the net there, and... Uh, might have been trying to draw a penalty on the play as well. But well, whenever that boy comes off the ice smiling, that means he had fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have six minutes left to play here in this first game. Don't forget, tomorrow night, right back here at the Kinplex, the second game. Messnet Cubs and the Bounce Bears going at it again. Uh, Bernhardt now playing the puck over to his defensive partner, Paul Vermacker. Paul Vermacker throws it to Fury. He's on the forecheck now. Ben Fury loses the puck. Here we go. Here comes the academy. Jonas Sokis now crosses the blue line. Sokis drives in that. Schaefer clears the puck into the corner. Uh, Logan Milligan, he clears the puck around the net, and Paul Vermacker picks it up. Back to the point. Here we go. Jonas Sokis again. Throws the puck over. Intercepted by the Cubs defense, Bernhardt. Bernhardt throws it up. Fury now on the forecheck. Followed by Goldaid. Heller into the play. Fury makes a nice little forecheck. Over to Goldaid. Goldaid coming in with Heller and Fury. There's a nice dangle now, and I think he's going to draw a penalty, Blake. He is. Going to be a tripping is. penalty coming up here. Uh, yeah. It looks like, uh, yeah, it's it's a tripping penalty. Uh, clear and cut. 
I thought maybe Heller was in, uh, involved in something like that, but uh, no, he, uh, oh, I think it was he kept his cool. He kept his cool. Again, yeah. Blake, we're you inside bet. that 10 minutes, you so bet. if a guy wants oh. to play tomorrow, you you got to do it. I you believe betcha. this is yep. Price of you. that got the, uh, the penalty here for tripping. You know, it's nice to see a player just stand up and walk away. I think that's the best discipline there is right there. There's a time that you maybe have to drop the gloves, but for the most part, if you can be disciplined, that's what you need. Exactly. Cubs going on the power play. Austin Gallipo now at the point. Gallipo looking to uh, do something with it. Throws across ice to Furkowski. Kyle Furkowski on the half wall now. Circles back to the point. Furkowski at the point. Tries to go cross ice for Goldie. That's knocked down. And Bounce clears the puck out and deep into the Cubs zone. Kyle Furkowski back in his own zone now. Starting out. Furkowski looking to move the puck. Throws the puck up to his brother Cody Furkowski. Cody in over the line. Oh, he just tried to hit Fury with that. Just a little out of his reach. Banff gets the puck. Clears it down the ice again. Schaefer setting it up. One minute, 15 seconds left to go on this power play. Cubs up 7-0. Kyle Furkowski now starting out of his own zone. Ahead for his brother Cody. Cody cross ice to Gabe Larishel. Larishel just a little out of his reach. And the puck bounces back into the bounce zone. They clear it, and Paul Vermacher regroups for the Cubs. Oh, he does a little dangle at the line. Just about loses it. Throws it ahead for Larishel. Now, Larishel in over the line for Koski. Scores! Correction, that was Gallipo to uh, for Koski. And a real nice little dangle there. And 8 nothing Cubs. It was now, you know, the goaltender had never had an opportunity on that. Uh, it was just uh, another uh, right on the tape and a shot, fast shot. Uh, a goal. Again, just another beautiful play. I'll tell you that Austin Gallipo, he's skating like a forward out there. I thought it was Gabe Larishel, but it was Austin Gallipo that uh, was moving down the wing there. And a nice little pass across to uh, Furkowski, and the puck is in the net. And it's 8-0, Medicine Hat Cubs. No <laughs> chance for Linko on that one. No, no, but uh, you know what, Kevin? Furkowski's not going to miss a shot like that. You're not right. Okay, here's Gabe Larishel now. We got it right. Larishel in the corner now, looking to set it up. Throws it out to Prakowski. Prakowski on the half wall. Cycles it down low for Larishel. And bam, starting out of their own zone. Uh, Milliken, he gets the puck in deep. Milliken along the boards now. Milliken trying to walk out on the half wall. He gets knocked down on the play. Here's Cody Prakowski in behind his own net. Furkowski now starting out, throws it over to Paul Vemacher. Paul Vemacher up the right side, cross ice for Bartram. That's out of his reach. Furkowski takes a bit of a run at one of the bound players there. I believe it was uh, Sokis, but he just managed to get out of the way. Here's Larishel down low. Nice play, tying him up on the ice. Score! Nice play by Gary, Gabe Larishel down low just to tie up that defenseman and kick the puck out. Furkowski swings in, picks up the uh, loose puck and throws it out front to Keegan Bartram. Wide open net, but it all started with Larishal with a nice little pin play it, right on the boards. And it's your dad, uh, Calvin. He just uh, made a quick uh, uh, dash uh, for the, the net, and it was just tic-tac-toe again. Again. So, 9 nothing here, Blake. Uh, three minutes and 26 seconds left to go in this game. Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's all but, uh, but over to Calvin. Uh, we just have to keep cool heads and finish off the, the game. That's it. You, you bet, Blake. Keep the heads cool, That's stay right. calm, and uh, you know, enjoy tonight's victory. And uh, I think we're going to see a total different uh, bounce team tomorrow. No doubt, a little uh, bus legs and so on. Uh, I think tomorrow uh, they're going to be here to play. And like you say, first game was 2-1 in favor of Banff, uh, first game of the season. So uh, we know they've got more to offer than they're showing here tonight. Cole Stevenson now working uh, the puck along the uh, red line. Loses it. Here come the Cubs now trying to get the puck deep into the zone. Gallopo can't do it. They bounce flips it out. Oh, Gallopo gives a little shot to uh, one of the bounce players there. Marcus, or Mark uh, Janish, rather. Okay, now the now thing's getting a little sloppy here, Blake. Here's Brandon Stahl now starting through the neutral zone. He turns it over. Here comes Baff now. Uh, starting out over the blue line. It's Dylan Robinson into the Cubs zone. Robinson now he swings it along the half wall for uh, Mark Janish. Back to the point, and Schaefer makes a nice little save. Here comes Kyle Furkowski up along the wall. Dish, uh, dodges a check, gets the puck back. Here's Furkowski in over the line. He's deep into the corner now. Takes a little bump along the boards by the uh, defenseman. Throws the puck back to Gallipo. Gallipo now dangling the puck on the half wall. He turns the puck over. Now it goes down low. I believe that's Bartram down low. It's uh, Cole Stevenson rather down low. Here comes Bam starting out. 
Get to the neutral zone, and that's as far as they can go. Here's Kyle Frakowski now. He's zigging at the red line. He's zigging at the blue line. Turns the puck over to Goldade. Goldade had a quick shot. Nothing doing there wide of the net. Puck comes out now. No, it doesn't. Puck stays in. Cubs on the forecheck. There's Goldade down low. Keller in. Throws an elbow. He's going to be going for at least two minutes. Here comes Banff, in over the line, quick shot there, number 19. Uh, that was uh, Losa, there's a hard hit along the boards. I think Palmermacher might be going here too. Well, Palmermacher's playing with a very bad uh, injured uh, shoulder, Calvin. I was surprised to see that. Yeah, he's certainly one guy we do not want to lose uh, for any length of time. He's very solid back on the point. Uh, Heller going to the box for two minutes for elbowing on that one. So uh, Banff's going to be on the power play here for the duration of the game here, Blake, unless they get a goal. 124 left to go in this game. Well, you know, I would like to see Banff get a goal here. Uh, Calvin, uh, you know, break, uh, break, uh, bring something back for tomorrow night's uh, plate here. Well, Blake, I'm going to have to disagree with you just a little bit. Uh, I, I want to see Schaefer get the big shutout here if he can do her. He's played a good game tonight and uh, played a good game uh, last game, so I'd like to see him get rewarded here with, I, uh, with the goose egg tonight. You know, tonight. Calvin, I, I agree with you 100%. Uh, time out to uh, Banff uh, for, uh, for uh, 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Calvin, uh, but you know what? Uh, I would like to see Bill uh, get something for tomorrow night. I mean, uh, uh, he's got no luck tonight. The boys uh, definitely aren't playing the team that they, 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 that they are capable of playing. Um, I've seen them in Banff play. Real tr you have too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you're right. I like to see Sheriff sure forget the goal, uh, uh, the shutout. But you know what I fear of? I fear of our goal changed for tomorrow's game. I yes. really do. Yeah. Uh, and I don't think Schaefer's going to be playing tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to have an interview with one of the coaches tonight uh, right after the game. So we'll find out that uh, secret uh, I'm message. Here. I'm expecting to see Pruden in net tomorrow for sure, Blake. I agree. And I think a good call by Bill here just to call a timeout and settle his troops down and just say, look, guys, uh, this one's in the bag. Let's keep our heads and uh, we'll come and uh, take another run at this tomorrow. Okay, bounce on the power play here. Uh, across the blue line, uh, into the Cubs zone here now. Cubs get the puck and hammer it back out. Raymond Palvamacher clears the zone. Okay, Banff now trying to regroup uh, across the red line. Here comes the Banff Academy Bears into the Cubs zone. Throws it back to the point. Uh, number nine along the boards, we have Dylan Robinson. He throws the puck down low. There could have been a high stick on Palvamacher. He's slow getting up. Robinson takes a shot. Slow deflection. Schaefer directs that puck into the corner. Uh, Paul Vemacher working hard along the boards here. Banff not laying down. They want to get one, Blake. Here comes uh, the Academy back to the point. Throws it down low for Robinson, I believe. Robinson back to the point. Shot. That's just wide of the mark. Um, Cubs clear the zone. There's an empty net down there, Calvin. Oh, they pulled the goalie. They're going for it, Blake. They bet. want to break the shutout. And uh, 58 seconds left to go in the power play and only 21 seconds left in the game. So... I seen they had two rookies out there, Calvin. There's two 16-year-olds out there. If you take a look, 16-year-olds uh, have to wear a cage. Uh, the other ones that's uh, 17, 18, uh, they, they can get away without a cage. But if you're 16, you have to wear a cage. Well, maybe Bill's just trying to get him some experience out there and some ice time, and uh, certainly not a bad move because uh, you need all your players down the stretch. Uh, Cubs win the draw now. They uh, try to dump the puck deep into the bound zone, and it comes out over the line. Uh, Kyle Frakowski now. Battling for the puck along the boards. Here comes his brother Cody. Chips it out to the neutral zone. Larishell on it now. Trying to kill off the last 10 seconds of the game. Puck's deep into the zone. Here's Perkowski. Takes a little bump along the boards. There's Austin Gallipo. And there goes the horn to end the game. Medicine Hat Cubs win the game. 9-0. Cole Schaefer with his first shutout of the year. You know, uh, 31 shots for uh, Medicine Hat, 21 for Banff. Uh, a little lopsided in one, one aspect, but you know what? Uh, uh, quality shots that Medicine Hat gave uh, Banff, well, they were quality shots. I think the shots that were thrown at him, Blake, I agree 100%. The shots that were thrown at, at, at the Banff goaltender were, uh, were good quality shots. Uh, you know, a lot of in-close shots, quick passes, uh, really no chance for their goaltending. And... Uh, Again, Schaefer solid in our net with his uh, first shutout of the year. So uh, nice to see. 
And again, we got to do it again tomorrow night here, Blake, right at the Kinplex. So we're looking forward to that game. Yes. And I think we're going to see a lot closer game. Yes, I think you're right, Calvin. Uh, they named the player of the game, uh, number 10, uh, Cody Wachowski. Uh, Schaefer was number two, the star of the game. I didn't catch the third star, but you know what? Those two really deserved it. Yep, they played They played well. Cody had a good game. He was working hard tonight. Uh, was rewarded uh, with some goals and uh, also some assists, which are very important. And again, Schaefer with the shutout. And again, just steady play uh, right from the start. So good for him. Good for the Cubs. And again, uh, Blake, I think you're doing an interview with one of the coaches. So I'm hoping to do one uh, with the coach if he comes up here, Calvin. You're right. And, uh, you know, it's it's my first time with you and my first time up here for the whole game. But you know what? My pleasure, Calvin. This was fun tonight, Blake. Hey. This is my first time up here. So well, uh, I've golly, never done this before either. So job, Calvin. I have to really uh, say thank you for the we have the Cubs, and uh, like I said, yeah, I think you got a permit cha uh, chair there. Well, thank you, Blake. It was fun working with you, and it was fun doing this. And why don't we try one more uh, apprenticeship tomorrow night and see uh, see what we can do, see if we can polish things up a little bit, and uh, we'll see what goes from there. But it was fun. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to get behind the mic. And uh, again, uh, Blake will be interviewing one of the coaches here right shortly. So I'm going to be signing off. We'll see you uh, tomorrow night, uh, game two. Cubs versus Bamp right here at the Kimplex. Uh, a little earlier tomorrow, Cal. 8 o'clock tomorrow, uh, 8 o'clock tomorrow. 8 right. o'clock, that's right. And we'll be doing the webcast again for anybody that can't make the game. You betcha we will. And you know what? Thanks, folks. If it wasn't for you, uh, I have to mention it this time, Beef Eater. Uh, Beef Eater is a proud sponsor of the Cubs Live website this year. Uh, they poured in a, a lot of uh, a lot of money, and, uh, and uh, I thank them. Uh, very much so for bringing this uh, telecast to these people. And how about our crew here, Blake? I know we have a skeleton crew. We have uh, our camera girl. Yes, yes. Uh, I'd, I'd like to have a nickname for her, but I can't pronounce her name all these times. I call her Blondie <laughs> with, the, with the glasses on. <laughs> You know, uh, and and her husband Jim, uh, he's a fantastic guy. Uh, if it wasn't for Jim and uh, and his wife, uh, we couldn't be even be here at Calvin. And like I say, there's not many teams in the league that um, have this uh, this going for them, do they, Blake? No, they, do uh, they have a play-by-play. -play, they have interviews and a live uh, web feed. Well, that's Just as right. I look on the ice right now, I see an old cub out there. It's uh, Tanner uh, Mayer. That's uh, Tanner Mayer. Uh, in fact, uh, he was uh, de debating if he was going to stay as a, as a Cub this year, but you know, uh, work comes first, and he has opportunity to work for the City of Minnesota Hat, and you know, he was uh, he even asked me a question. He said, Blake, what should I do? And I said, you know what, Tanner, your livelihood comes first, and your experience in life comes first, and if you love hockey that much, well, you know, do what you think you should do. Yeah, and he's a good kid, and uh, certainly his brother Logan is a good kid too and they were instrumental in the success that the Cubs had last year so uh, it's good to see him and I see some of the fans are giving him a little bit of a bad time down there but uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I do. I, hopefully he's happy with his decision and uh, I know the coaching staff is going to miss him and the players will miss him but uh, as long as he's happy doing what he's doing that's the main thing and he's got a big smile on his face so it looks like everything's good. Yes, and uh, with that being said, uh, I don't see any of the coaches uh, hurrying up uh, up here, so maybe I'm going to have to do the same thing as you and uh, say goodnight to everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow night, guys, and thank you again, folks. Oh, uh, here's head coach Jason Bartram just coming oh, up here. Oh, Jason's Blake, so coming up here. Uh, I'm going to sign off for tonight. We'll see you tomorrow night, and Blake is going to uh, have a few questions for the head coach. You betcha. Uh, folks, uh, joining me is the head coach. Of Madison Hyde Cubs, uh, grab a mic there, uh, Coach, and we'll get off, t get off to a, a great start here. Um, uh, give me a little bit of uh, feedback uh, tonight's game, Coach. Well, I thought we carried over a lot of positives from from the weekend, and uh, we knew we had to skate with these guys tonight, and and we did. And for being uh, having a short bench, the guys banged up. I thought we did a great job. Uh, dictating the pace of the game and, and uh, the kids played well. Yeah, uh, from up here, Kel and I were very impressed with uh, with the pressure in the first period. Uh, the boys didn't let up at all. Uh, there was some uh, some uh, questionable calls out there. I seen two of the questionable calls, and you know what? Our boys just stood up and took, just looked back and didn't uh, get involved with any ruckus tonight. Uh, I see you're going to be short, uh, a little bit shorter of a bench tomorrow. Um, what happened uh, within uh, the 10 minutes, a little short of 10 minutes? Was there a little bit of a scaffold out there uh, on the uh, middle of the ice? Yeah, there are 
you know what they weren't uh, they weren't happy with how the game was going. We figured that that was going to start, but uh, we need to be we need to be a little smarter. You know, last ten minutes you get in those fights and you get you get in those battles. It's nice to stand up for yourself, but you know we got seven defensemen and four are already hurt. Now one's out for tomorrow, so um, we'll make some adjustments with the coaching staff. We'll figure something out. And we'll be ready to go. That's great. Uh, nice to hear about that. It's just unfortunate it happened uh, just under nine minutes. Uh, uh, of course, uh, Ray, talk about Raymond. Uh, Raymond's coming off a, an injury of the arm, uh, shoulder. Excuse me. Uh, how's uh, how's he doing with the, the shoulder? I seen him take a couple of real bad hits tonight. Uh, is he going to be playable tomorrow night? Yeah, Ray's a, he's kind of a warrior. He says it's popped in and out on him now for quite a while. He's looking at surgery next next year so um you know what he's, he said he, he just goes and plays and it, if it pops out he takes a few days off and gets it put back in and gets ready for the next one so uh we got our fingers crossed that that he's going to continue to have uh, some luck here and not get hurt he's real good for us on the back end like you say he's a warrior and like tonight uh, that that shorter didn't stop him a bit uh, i was amazed with his, the way he played uh, the way he had the puck uh, he sees the whole ice, and when he puts a pass uh, down there, it's on the it's on the tape. Yeah, we like we're trying to get our defensemen to use the whole 85 by 200 and stretch the ice up, stretch the ice out a little bit, and uh, force teams to maybe catch them back on their heels. And it seems to be working the last few games. So um, he's a big part of our defense, and and. Uh, like well, he's been playing well. Yeah, and you know, on uh, that nutshell, if you had two more defensemen like him. I think you have a team. Well, I think we got a team right now. Well, you're and right. I, you're right. I think, I think our guys that, that are back there, you know, you look at the guys right now that we're using with, with injuries and stuff, logging a pile of ice, and, and um, everybody stepped up, and they're all, right now they're in the room, they're exhausted. They've played three tough games, and they know they got to get ready tomorrow. So we're well, real proud of them, and, and they're working hard. And you, you, you're, very, you're very right. Uh, I'm proud of them myself. Uh, I'm happy to be a part of this organization, and it's a great organization. Uh, I was talking to Bill uh, in between the second and third period, and uh, Bill said the same thing. Uh, you never have a team that, that, uh, that fails you if you're all on the same page. And, and you know what? All your boys tonight, I, I noticed that tonight, that they're all on the same page. They all, uh, you know, are in the play. There is three and four uh, assists tonight. Uh, my main question to you, Coach, is Schaefer played his game. He uh, he played a fantastic game. Uh, he had uh, 38 shots uh, pointed at him. Uh, a good shutout. My question to you, and I'm putting you on the spot, and I don't think you're going to answer me, but is Pruden going to get the nod for tomorrow night's game? Gonna answer you. I didn't think you would. I didn't think you would, but you know what? Tanner, my, ge Tanner, my, my guess, my folks, <laughs> my guess, folks, Pruden's <laughs> going to get a little bit of ice time. He is going to go tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. And you know what? I, I think he can do uh, his job also as as a, as a teammate. Uh, they're they're all jail, jailing together, and yeah, I, I think Pruden uh, can do the same kind of a job that I seen tonight. He's been good. Tanner's been good. You know what? He he understands his role, and when he's called upon, he's done a good job. Um, you know, he went in and, and, and played real well and, st and stole a game for us that we really needed back on the road. And, and he's been good, and uh, he's ready to go. He wants he wants to play, and, uh, you know, Shafe's played the last, last three games and, and needs a little bit of a break also to wear him out. So uh, we're very fortunate to have two good, great goalies. That's exactly what I thought, too. And he needs a, he needs a break. Shafe needs a little bit of a break. And you know what? tomorrow night uh, would be the right time to put him in and uh, that's why I brought you up uh, a, a tough question but it's not a tough question everybody can can see through the light but uh, I also talked to Bill about uh, possibly next year they would like to uh, invite us down to Banff and uh, consider we're going to go to our league about it but we consider an outdoor game in Banff uh, one of the lakes that they practice they practice on lakes up there and Bill said that he uh, would love to have an outdoor uh, classic with us next year. So if we can get uh, the okay from our league to do that, uh, what's your comments on that? Well, hopefully it's not minus 20. And uh, <laughs> yeah. you know what, it'd be, it'd be a good experience, I think. 
<laughs> yeah. a lot of fun. You make you have some fun. You see, they do it in the NHL, and and uh, I think the, I think the guys would really enjoy it, and, and the, we'd find a way to make it a lot of fun. You bet, and uh, I'm 100% uh, for it. Uh, myself, I'm going to be uh, uh, presenting this with Bill to the league, uh, uh, hopefully before we are finished uh, this year. And if it, if it's a goal. I tell you, folks, we're going to have a Cameron on there. We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, the boys will get some uh, good experience. And I heard through the grapevine, again, Mr. Unger couldn't make it to, on this trip because he's moving his family to Arizona from California. I don't know why he wanted to do that. But anyways, uh, he uh, Gary Unger uh, arranged, uh, when we were down there, uh, the Rangers were practicing. And we were just hitting it a little bit too late. Uh, we had an opportunity to uh, have a, a session with the Rangers, but we just got in a little too late. My fault again. Uh, if I would have known a little sooner, our bus would have been there and we would have some fun. But next year, they're going to have the Philadelphia, uh, Philadelphia Flyers down there for uh, uh, the start of our game. So we're going to try and arrange uh, a little bit of a... Uh, meet and greet uh, with Philadelphia. Hopefully everything works out. Well, I know there's some Flyer fans in our room. Um, my son is, <laughs> is probably the biggest. His room is covered in Philadelphia Flyer stuff, so um, he'll be excited, but maybe I won't say nothing to him. I'll just let it, let it be a surprise. You betcha. And uh, you know what? Um, it would be a big surprise for everybody, and uh, uh, hope, uh, hope everything... Uh, Works out for you, Coach. Uh, we're running on time. Uh, I better sign up. But uh, uh, I would like to uh, have uh, have you back tomorrow night, uh, win or lose, uh, and we'll uh, continue from there. Absolutely. We'll talk then. Thanks for having me, Blake. You're welcome. Uh, folks, uh, this is a wrap uh, for tonight. Uh, please tune, uh, tune in for tomorrow night at uh, 8 o'clock, and uh, uh, God be with you.